What's going on, people? Troops TV. Back again. Back up, Blood Clark again. You understand? Episode 283 of Back Again. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe to the Blood Clark thing. You know what I'm saying? Arsenal are out of the Champions League. Liverpool are out of the Europa League. Man City are also out of the Champions League. It is Brexit settings, people. Europe, England, it don't work, blood. You understand? We're all out like pride. And Lewis is sitting here in a fucking Bayern unit top. You get me? <laughs> no way. I didn't even clock that. We <laughs> got Luciana, proper Chels. Proper Chels. And then he has one behind him. No diddy. It is what it is, blood. You get me? It is what it is. Lewis, rightfully so. You're on the top row. You get me? Alongside that wallad. But let me check in on you first. You get me? Firstly, big up the chat, blood. You understand? Make sure you like the thing, make sure you share the thing, and make sure you subscribe to the Blood Clark thing. And also subscribe to these three dickheads as well. You get me? Um, the link is in the description as always. Yo, hella hostility from the jump, you know. Well, but Lewis, what well, go on, blood? You get me? Okay. FA Cup weekend. You can have your fun today, blood, because tomorrow you are going in a spliff. And I will be there. Watch along settings. Hate along settings. Your favourite setting of the season, blood. Hate a long settings, bro, for me. You get me? Um, will you be at the ground? Yes, yeah, yeah. We, we will be at the ground. We will be there. But we will, hopefully, we get the best of a tired Man City side. I'm not putting money on it. But for now, like, I'm, I'm happy with my three out of three hate watches completed. I'd love to see it. Hi-ho! 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 You're out of the Euro. Where's your Champions League? It's fucking peak. I ho, I ho, I ho, I ho, I ho. You're out of the Euro. Where's your Champions League? It's fucking peak. I ho, I ho, I ho, I ho. Big up to the man, them. Big up to Thomas Tuchel. Smashed Arteta while serving his notice period. Big up to the worst Bayern team of the last 10 years. Beating the best Arsenal team the last 10 years. Editage. European editage strikes again. I forgot to get the two-call cool poster on the side. We'll get that sorted for the next step. But <laughs> it is great to be back. Football feels a little bit more normalised. Obviously, we'll deal with tomorrow's messes. But tomorrow's problem is tomorrow's problem. For today, we celebrate. For today, we feast. Because everybody else in, in England let the whole of the country down. Guess they miss Chelsea. But it's up to us to get back there. Big up, everybody. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Don't be one of them Arsenal forwards. And as always, up the Chels. Up the Chels. Flawless. The reason why I called you a wild lad, but because you also have a remix to my famous song. I never heard his one, blood. I saw your one, <laughs> you piece of shit. You understand? <laughs> Yo, I've been called a dickhead, a wild lad, and a piece of shit before I've even formed three You've had a good week as well, Mr. Snow Bunny Hunter. Oh, I've had a, I've had a phenomenal, wild. That's the most wildest disclaimer I've ever had to put on on a show. But we move. Um, make sure you go check it out, people. Uh, phenomenal. Considering I don't freestyle either, that was a phenomenal high ho high ho remix. You know what I'm saying? That wasn't even one I thought of. Like that was on the spot. The one I did last week on the show, well, the last back again we did that one. I already had. That was already pre written, kind of already pieced that together. But that one there, I was laughing. Shout out to TJ. Shout out to Tony. And yeah, it was it was fantastic. And just seeing their non-confident, because that was before the second leg, their non-confident Mano and Domino going away to the Alliance was beautiful, like Lewis said. Obviously, we'll get into it against, you know, what was not a good, um, not a good, uh, what's it called? I can't remember. Go to my story on the ground. I can't remember that one. I was too busy laughing and joking and shit. Um, where was I at? Yeah, the, <laughs> one of the most... <laughs> One of the weakest buying sides. Everything in Arsenal's favour. Everything in Arsenal's favour. That's the craziest thing. And I went to the CBS, you know, the Sports Galazzo, and one of the top comments was, it's all in our hands. I was like, this is beautiful, man. 
<laughs> I've had a sensational week from like Tuesday up until Tuesday. Oh, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. I see you lot play poorly against the um, Bayern at the Emirates. I seen City draw away. Liverpool then got battered by Atalanta at home. That was fantastic. Then the weekend, Liverpool and Arsenal lost back to back like Jordan 96 97. Oh, it was great. And then having a whole three, four days knowing that you lot are going out. That is the great part. And just to top it off, I seen City go out on pens. And Haaland and De Bruyne say, nah, we want to come off. Oh, great stuff. Hey, phenomenal stuff. Phenomenal. But yeah, I'm all good. Please make sure you subscribe to Sarcasm City TV as well. 16 out of 10 merch is out, people. My uh, Sarcasm City TV dot my Shopify dot com. That's Sarcasm City TV dot my Shopify dot com. You lot have been asking for the 16 out of 10 tees. Two different designs, four different colors. Big up to the chat, though. Salute to everyone here. And run up the likes and subscribe, man. Run up the likes and subscribe. Do some. You already had one foot out of Europe. Um, but now you're fully out, blood. You understand? Uh, the Jurgen Kopp, uh, Jurgen Klopp, sorry, uh, farewell tour is going up in smoke. Um, we went from a quad to a treble to now maybe a double. First of all, you need to stop being smug and smiling like a fraud because I've at least seen my club be successful recently. Second of all, we were knocked out last week anyway. Stop trying to be a fraud. You know from where it was 3 0 at Arfield, it's a game over. Stop acting like we were, oh my God, there's a comeback on. This guy, you know why Trips is a fraud? Let me tell you. Yesterday, I was there on my watch along. When the first goal happened, he was like, oh, eight shit happening. There's no Rebatada, nothing's happening. And now he's like, oh, Liverpool got knocked out of the Europa League. Guys, shock horror. We lost 3-0 to Atalanta at home. We were going to beat them 4-0 away from home. Actually, please. We were knocked out from last week. My season been over from Sunday. You know, I'm just vibing. Flawless welcomed me to the club this Sunday. You know, the season's over club. And I walked in happily. So now that my season's over, you know, you can't run the same shit jokes fucking five days later. So, yeah, your season ended two days ago, though. And Man City, you know, got knocked out the Champions League. So that's a different, different thing. But big up to everyone in the chat. Like and subscribe and all that good stuff. And yeah, we we out here, man. Big up my brother Randy Viper. He's moving a bit mad this, this beautiful afternoon. First super chat of the day. But Kyle what? But Kyle where? But Kyle disappear. I've got a lot of people in their feelings for um, talking on Bakayo. Still the star boy, but we have to call it out as it is. Big up Randy Viper one more time. He says, Cody Rose turned into star boy and Bakayo turned into stardust. I want all these overrated bums like Saka out with Arteta. Been saying this from time. This is why I said I think Randy Viper's on a bit of a mad one this morning. I wouldn't go that far as well, blood. You get me? We definitely need to keep Bakayo. And um, Arteta, he's got a year to win something. Oh, boy. Uncomfortable conversations will start running. We got Randy Viper one more time. He says, nothing in the world can... Uh, nothing in the world can one imagine beforehand. Not the last thing. Uh, not the least thing, sorry. Um, everything is made up of so many unique particulars that cannot be foreseen. And then he carries on with, he has foreseen the unforeseen. He has broken the mold. He has persuaded us wow. sheep to drink the Kool-Aid. We did regrettably. In hindsight, in hindsight, sorry, he is flawless, the Wallad. I, I feel like that he didn't say well at the end of the super chat. Yeah, we didn't need the one, extras. Man. We we, yeah, did, we didn't need that. Why Shard why is it my fault? Like Shard I, I, I ain't out there. I ain't the one who's letting Bayern Munich players run off me. You know what I'm saying? That, that wasn't me. You know what I'm saying? Being cones and stuff of that nature. It's great. I feel like the, the Duns who make Fast and Furious films, we just make the same film over and over again, and people still come and buy tickets and watch, and it grosses hundreds of millions. That's what it feels like. You know, like the people who sell Jordans, but they just put them in different colours. Because you know what the crazy part is? When Arsenal are here next season, just before April in March, and in February and in January, and are playing good football and slapping teams, you lot will drink the Kool-Aid again. And again, mm -hmm. and again, 
and again and i will be here con- uh, building contributing to as that. well books oh, all edited man oh yeah 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 man it's the cool this year will be man. our year that's it's gonna it be is, different Lewis. this time that's what it is lewis yeah we're different this time because there's somebody new there's there's somebody new there and you know like the jordan a new color oh it's new we got it in gold this year so right, yeah, this time we'll have us yeah it was have it well, we've Rice. unlocked Kai. Yeah, man. And then, then he saying, disappeared again. Declan Rice on blood clap piece. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Declan Couscous. <laughs> yeah, Declan Every time. Was hilarious, yeah. Mr. 16 out of 10. He says, Hussam number 11 bottled it again. You're honestly telling me you wouldn't take 100 mil for him in the summer. Only reason to keep him is sentiment. I'm supposed to take a guy seriously who said Lukaku is better than him. He's back again. He says, truth, do you reckon you'll beat Madrid in the semis, bro? No, did he, blood? Slow your blood clot down. By the way, Hussam Maka poor yet again. He's either knackered or it was just a purple patch. Oh, we've gone back to McAllister slander. I refuse, I refuse to address this guy. It's you know what? That, that, and one more time. I understand. And one more time, <laughs> he says, Thomas Tuchel is, sorry, as our next manager. Just hear me out. You know, no, crazy? No, no. You, you know what's crazy? You know what's crazy? He was in the United Liverpool, in the United Liverpool group chat with the Liverpool like, like Saint and Ram and G and all that. And he said, Thomas Tuchel, hear me out. And Ram just put no. And then it's just been ignored ever since. No one each other hear that. Just like I just ignored it as well. Not really <laughs> yeah. yeah, don't do that. We don't need that. We got my brother Salman <laughs> every damn Lewis. time. And a one and a two. He pulls up with <laughs> 16 out of 10. He says, Lewis, care to continue? Champions of Europe, you'll never sing that. You'll never sing that. You'll never sing that. Champions of Europe, you'll never sing that. This is also the sole reason why I'm going to Arsenal away on Tuesday. Just 90 minutes of chance of that. Whether it's nil-nil or we're five-nil down, we will be there. (laughs) We got facts. Lewis, care to start? <clears throat> oh, it's a new one. Out of Europe, ole ole. Out of Europe, ole ole. Out of Europe, out of Europe, out of Europe, ole ole. We got another one for Tuesday. Love it. It's all right, troops. It's only Champions League. Got next year. You got next year. Oh, we got another one. We got C24, my brother. He says, Lewis, can we get a. Bayern again, ole ole. Bayern again, ole ole. Bayern again, Bayern again, Bayern again, ole ole. Big up, CNAC. Shout out my brother Gabriel. He says, Big up, guys. Go get your 16 out of 10 shirts, people. Yes. Big up to you, Gabriel. Big up, Todd Miller. He says, Eric Dyer, Heritage. Eric Maldini Dyer. Ha ha. You know, Eric Dyer has apparently made as many Champions League semi-finals as Arsenal. We got Gabriel. He so just drops to 16 out of 10 and keeps it moving. We got Sahil. He says, this pod is pure cinema. Mad Max settings. We got the fantastic foursome pause and looking forward to a whole lot of blue cards today. Blood, these men are lucky. Speaking of, we do have the blue cards in process. Big up. You man are lucky that I deserve the cooking, so I, the blue card will be, yeah, I don't think it will be here today, blood. Big up our brother Vin. He says, troops, the stars have aligned. It just turns out the constellation formed was a fat O for zero trophies. That's mad. Big up De Niro, Dan, my dog. He says, win on Sunday, top of the league again. There we go, man. There's still some, there's some, still some Kool Aid believers. No, I know he's rattled. You play on Saturday. <laughs> yeah, seven thirty. Yeah, straight after the Chelsea I'm... game. Yeah. <laughs> you don't even know the time. I'm not even saying they are right, brother. That tells me your head's in bars. We got Rex. It's head, it's head in the stars. <laughs> That's what it is. He says Arteta disrespected again. A cup. We got Love United. Hate the ops. He says run the clip of Hussam celebrating getting Atalanta. Guys, we were knocked out last week, man. Get over it. We got Corey AFC. He says, Big Up Flawless Savage Pod was jokes yesterday. Big Up for watching, man. Big Up, Corey. We got De Niro, damn, one more damn time. 
He says, all jokes aside, the league isn't over for anyone. City will most likely storm it from now, but still winnable. It's the hope that kills you. I love this, man. There's still some... There's still... City yeah, lost to Real Madrid on penalties. Liverpool Football Club have lost to Crystal Palace at home and Arsenal have lost to Aston Villa at home. We are even more likely to drop points than they are. Let's just be real, have a moment of reality and just vibe for now to the end of the year. Love that, man. There's still some people believing in the beverage, man. Hey, hey, hey. You lot, keep drinking the Kool-Aid, man. You know what I'm saying? We got Jason. He says, should Poch be given first season hall pass, Lewis? No. No, absolutely not. We got Strasbourg Steve. Make sure you subscribe to Strasbourg Steve, the dickhead. He says, thanks, troops, for the 16 out of 10 win on Wednesday, my G. Big up Steve every time. Big up Steve. Big up Mustafa. He says, love from Cairo. Inshallah, Arsenal winning the league. Inshallah, my Big brother. Up. I echo them thoughts. Big up Coins Cove. He says, troops, you at the circus. Why are these clowns on your show? You must Only be a bitter Arsenal fan. fan. So guess what? Hold one of these, blood. Hold one hey, of these. Hey, hey. hey. Why, why, do I, why do I keep getting the blame made? The clowns were out in Germany in red and white. You know, there was nothing to do with us. Like, I don't know why you take it out that energy on us. It wasn't me. Big up Sing is King, my brother. He says, big up troops and the man them. Our season was dead <laughs> months ago, but seeing them 115 corrupt paying chods lose on penalties was brilliant. Football heritage. We got beige and reds, my GG. There's two reds. things in life are guaranteed death and Arsenal winning zero trophies. Big up my brothers. Waste man. Hey, yeah. We got De Niro Dan. He says, We'll win the league. Don't worry, troops. I wish I had as much um hope as you, my brother. Big up Barnabas. He says, People are running their mouths about Arsenal, yet we're coming up against the greatest dynasty in football ever. In another league, we look better than other league teams with our record. City is a very high bar. One second. Barnabas, here's the thing. Why did you guys not show this? First of all, troops, please don't read the next one. Second of all, um, here's the thing, uh, Barnabas, respectfully. When it comes to this, the, the, the super chat, why do you guys not share this energy for Liverpool? This is the thing that I don't get. Because we lost the league twice to City on one point and we still got like, okay, you lost the league. No one, no one cares. And the reality is this was the season to beat them. So this is not the season to go like City Dynasty and all that shit. We just let ourselves down. We, we, I think this is the this is the time where we have to hold ourselves accountable and stop doing this whole one, 115 and City charges and all that shit. This season, they, this season it was us. We messed up. And I know Troops feels the same way. We messed up as institutions. I agree with you. I it's not you them even being incredible or anything. They've already lost. They've already drawn this season. They've already given us the chance, but we just didn't take it. So we have to only have ourselves to blame. And Barnabas, you don't get no style points in second. Oh, it was the greatest City team. They set the bar high. You finished second. You were the first loser. All this style thing. I've seen people trying to complain of the way Real Madrid played against Manchester City. Like, you win or you lose. That's simply what it is. We've all, all of our four teams here have been runners up in the league and been runners up in the champs at some point. Guess what? We weren't good enough. This season, though, think about it. Yeah. Thank you. I, I, I agree with you in regards yeah. to you lot had the opportunity against City because City haven't been fantastic. That's why I said I agree. I think this season and last season is the case. I think you both fumbled the bag. I think you both fumbled the bag in Europe. Guess I what? Agree. That's on the manager and the players. 100%. Yep. If you want to get a trophy for second place, go down to the championship. <laughs> big up comedy star. Um, you're moving mad though, blood, but big up your damn self, bro. Uh, big up C24. He says, win, lose, or draw, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a fun Tuesday night. Oh no, no, if, if we lose it, it won't be fun after we come out. But we're still gonna be doing the Champions League chance. Three thousand um Champions League balloons at the Emirates. We will I be there. Why do you keep mentioning Tuesday? What's happening Tuesday, bro? Arsenal, Arsenal Chelsea. Chelsea. Arsenal Chelsea. Bro. Oh shit. Fair. Yeah, yeah, man. Arsenal Chelsea. That was gonna be a goodie. We must. We must. We got Todd Miller. He says, Can we get Rio to describe how you feel today? Hmm? Well, to be honest, mate, I'm not really feeling too good. Do you know what I mean? Like, I <laughs> had high hopes after the first first half performance on the boys, but then second half, it just fucking bottled it. So, do you know what I mean? Not really feeling that good, mate. But uh, no other place to start than Arsenal. At the Alliance Arena. Aliens, uh, Alliance, whatever you want to call that piece of shit arena. Bayern 1, Arsenal 0. Arsenal are out of the Champions League. 
Um, piss poor second half performance, blood. You get me? Second half cost us the tie. First half, well, to be honest, the first leg cost us blood. You get me? Bakar at 1 0. Benny Blanco has that chance to make it 2 0. It goes 2 0. That game's probably dead and gone. We're probably in the semi final taking on Real Madrid. And then that's where I said that the, the dream would end. But the dream ends before in Germany yet again, blood. You get me? Um, yeah. It is what it is, blood. Can I ask you a question, troops? Why did you? Why specifically this game you went in on Saka like that? Why Why was it this game specifically that made you go to that like route? What do you mean that Genuine. route? I, I didn't. I didn't like. I wasn't rude. I didn't shout. I didn't swear. I just said what I've seen in recent weeks. You get me? And I haven't been seeing enough from Bakayo, bro. You get me? Doesn't mean that I don't rate him. I do rate him, blood. You get me? He's still the star boy, and. It's for that reason why I'm calling him out because it's you. You are the, you're the, you're the talisman in this team. You Face get, of the club. Do you understand? Yes, so yes, when Henri was the talisman of the club, the stud, like the big man, the main man, if, if, if he misses one-on-one -on -one chances or he goes missing in a big game, obviously I was of a younger generation, but I'm sure the older generation would have been question, questioning Henri blood. You understand? I'm sure the three years we went trophyless between 99 and 2001, they were on his clock. You understand? Questioning him. You me? Saying probably bring in other strikers. Do this, do that. You get me? And that's when you get to a certain level, pressure and criticism will be there, blood. If you don't do what you're supposed to do, blood. Do you understand? I'm seeing Foden go burn about the week before. Top bins in it. You get me? There's this whole Foden, Saka, Cole Palmer's in, in, in the debate now. You get me? So you have to be stepping up, blood. You get me? When I'm seeing the other star boys step up, blood. Mayno stepping up in the Liverpool game. I'm seeing Cole Palmer score four goals, blood. Do you understand? I'm seeing Foden go to um, Bernabeu and, and put in a proper performance, blood. And then Bakayo's just limping, blood. You get me? I actually want to defend him. And then it's even a thing where he's not attacking his... He's not attacking the defender. He's not, mm -hmm. like, getting involved in the game. He's just trying to, like, hide on the wing, blood. You get me? Like, his end product is shocking. He crosses the ball. He can't even beat the first man. It either it either hits the first man or it, hit, or it misses everybody. You get me? So, mm -hmm. I have to, you understand, look at the situation and be like, come on, like, we, we need to... You get me? Like... I need more from Bakayo, bro. Do you understand? Like, I think the left hand side was even worse, though. That's why I ask you that question. And and when it comes to Tusaka, even though I I hear what you're saying, he should step up. But the reason why I defend him is as follows. I'll tell you why. Foden ghosted against Real Madrid as well at at at, at the Etihad. He was he was he was shocking in that game. He didn't play well twice against you. He didn't play well twice against us either. Simicas pocketed him, bro. Like so, even even Foden's had bad games, but had the team pocketed that, him too. And the, he received the, team, the thing is, the he received criticism for those performances. Though. Exactly, and then what? No, no, I, I, he, I hear you. But the team that Foden yeah. is in allows him, allows him to essentially have bad games, and it's okay because yeah, he's yeah. surrounded no. by a great team. Yeah, because he is because Pal yeah, when it comes to the Palmer thing, I'm gonna just be mm -hmm. honest, and it's just me being completely real. Every single time a player is in this league for the first time experiencing like his first season, like, you know, where he's starting week in, week out, the defense don't know what to do. Cole Palmer next season, we'll see when he's being marked by two or three men, what is going to happen. This is just the reality. There's not an insult to Cole Palmer. I'm just saying next season, defenses will I'm respect him more don't and worry. he'll have to find alternative solutions in order to impact the game. If Bukayo Saka played for Chelsea, here's the thing, troops, let's just unpack this quickly. I no, think Saka has no opportunity where he's like one on one with a this man. He's always he's always like he's always like defended by two or three people. And I think mm. at Chelsea, because like people don't like defensively plan for Chelsea or anything, I think Cole Palmer has those spaces to operate, which Saka would be would be also operating well at Chelsea. And the thing is as well against Bayern Munich, Zinchenko didn't play and Jesus didn't play. I mean, as a start, like they came on, but they didn't start. So we cannot blame them this time. 
So I think I can blame Jesus no. because when he come on, did you see that fucking shot he took? No, he was, he, no, I, no, no, I, no, no, I will blame yeah. Jesus. I will blame him. No, I, I will blame point. Trossard. I will blame everyone that came off the bench. Like, I didn't even do fuck all, blood. Our bench I, I just say the forward line as a whole like, for you guys. Our bench looks like Christmas decorations, blood. Yeah, I think it's a mentality. man spent thirty five million on on Fabio Vieira for what? For what, blood? To keep Martinelli yeah. company? Yeah, that is that is. Because all I know I, about Fabio Vieira is he's Martinelli's best friend. That's all I know. That's all I know, blood. I didn't know they were best friends. But That's all I know, blood. Friends. I think it's nice Speaking, mentality. Speaking of unnecessarily yeah, spending yeah. money. Oh my god, what is this? Bro? Speaking of unnecessarily spending money, I did see these quotes from Arteta. We'll get back to what Sam said, but we have to do this. We we don't have a striker that can score thirty to forty goals, and, and we have to live with that. That's not a real. You're talking about that's, the goal allocation that's, of the squad. That's not that a real. Could not be a real. No, he did. No, say that was that. from that was, that was from one of your big aggregators, Eduardo Hagen. No, but There's that no cannot. No, but that guy posts some 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 bullshit. Certain time, blood. Like he, he's he a cool brother. Like, no, because I'm thinking time, like, yo, what what, what what did that sixty five million really go to? If you if you're still looking for a thirty to forty goal. Do you know what Season's it is, right, yeah? yeah? I think people have even got to the point where they're like, they don't even care about the 65 million on Havertz. They more care about the 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 the, the wages he's being paid, the 275,000 pound a week. Is he on 275k a week? Yeah, blood. I that's didn't what know. That's no that's wonder why. he pushed for that move. You feel <laughs> I me? Know. I you did feel not me? Know Maybe that. that's why. <laughs> 275k a week. No, nah, someone's got to get sacked. That Someone has to lose their job. The chat saying it's real. I can't believe that's real. Because there's no, there's way, no he way he said that. that Arteta can come out and say that after going and putting 65 million <laughs> no and 275 blood clot thousand pound a week on Kai Havertz blood. There's you really just gave us 65 million unwarranted. Facts. Just say nothing and just look at and just look at it and go, yeah, we made a mistake here, which you lot did make, and we knew this. Because Kai Havertz, Kai Havertz at his best is a bang average player. Yes, he was in good form, so he was performing above his level. But eventually you are going to go back to your level as a football player. And he offers nothing. What did he What did he do over those two legs? What did he do? Other players were bad, yes, but what did he do over those two legs? But because you it's got Kai about Havertz, four sides. we don't speak about it because it's Kai Havertz. Because we don't expect anything from him. So when he does anything that's even remotely above average, it's hyped up. If Saka like performs like saying, that, the, lower, the lowest expectations of a football player yeah, I've absolutely. ever seen in my if life. Od get if improved. Odegaard or Martinelli or Trossard or any of the other Arsenal attackers perform like him, they would get crucified. But because it's him, am I not, we allow am it. Am I not on... Um, no, James you are. I'm saying I'm saying it. No, no, no. No, you in particular. I didn't even... I, I forgot Trossard came off the bench. He came on the pitch, yeah. yeah, yeah. I Never fucking play. forgot. Because yeah, when I'm naming like, substitutes, oh. when I'm doing my reaction, I didn't even about say Trossard, blood. Yeah, yeah, I hate Because all he did you. was come on and kick, man. Yeah, yeah, he didn't he do come nothing. on and got booked. That was it, but blood. The, but the point I'm making is a general consensus I'm talking about here. If any of them perform average, whether they, you think they perform average or not, the point I'm saying is Havertz gets a pass. City away, Havertz gets a pass. Any game he, he plays, if he's hard. average, yes, he'll get a pass. When he offers you very little. At least the others you can look at and go, all right, they did this, this, and that. Not necessarily in the second leg, but in other games. You can say, oh, the guy did this, or Saka did this. All right, Martinelli's been put. That's the point I'm making. But back to the point you was making as well, Hassan. You answered your own question when you mentioned about Foden in regards to him being surrounded by better players. The pressure's not on him like it is on Saka. Heavy is the head that wears the crown. When you're the king and you're looked at as the best player, people look to you. And that's what it is with Sako. Yes, he is being marked and opposition defences are setting up to stop him. Now that's where your game has to elevate and you have to sort that out. As that happens to any attacker who is top class or puts up numbers, gets goals and assists and is the main man for a top team that happens to. I watched Mbappe over these two legs. He was poor. Poor. He was, he was very poor. And that's my and guy. Dembele was the and one he was that shocking. was carrying him. Yeah. Really. And Dembele, like Mbappe was the worst winger on the pitch. And bear in mind, it was a 16 year old. Yeah, but if a king is surrounded yeah, by your mouth was out there, blood. <laughs> your mouth was out <laughs> there. Your mouth was out there. Your and he, was well in, he, he balled in the first leg and he balled in the and first the half as well. Yeah, yeah, until he got taken off until yeah, the red yeah. card. But all if a king oh. is surrounded by peasants, what's he yeah. supposed to do? He's supposed to lead still because there's a way to lose. A lie. There's a way to. Again, 
he was he was shocking. He did. When we went out in shocking. the Champions League against um he was shocking. AC Milan, yeah, we was four 0 down in the first leg, yeah. I think Van Persie got two goals in the first like twenty minutes or something, like. Yeah, even like, Hazard has a hole. Yeah, like, last three years have one goal, but they yeah, was fight. Is, Why yeah, are we comparing it's... Saka to Hazard and Van Persie? He's not on their level. He's no, getting saying, there. Bro, bro, man, saying that, yo, if you're the main guy, you have to take the game by the scruff of the I neck. Think it's the other you're the first guy no, everyone looks at. Again, you understand? Hassan, when I say that, he's getting doubled up on. Hussam's here saying Saka's getting doubled up on. Bro, Saka can't even beat a man one on one. Even when we have him in space and we're like, go attack the mm. attack the attack the fullback. There's mm. no winger and fullback. It's fullback. Go beat it's the fullback, fullback, blood. Yeah, he yeah. can't even do that, bro. I hear you. By the way, I'm not saying I'm not saying he had a good game. I'm agreeing with you. I'm just saying there were others in the team that were worse than him. Like Saka's that guy, bro. But there's a reason why we put more on him. Pause. You understand? Like Odegaard, done, Odegaard was cooking. Odegaard was doing his thing, blood. Trying to get get in the ball to Saka, getting the ball wide, like battling in the midfield. Do you understand? While Jorginho was just there, looking around and looking around at the fucking flares like a fucking idiot, blood. You get me? Rice was lost. Rice was lost, bro. I'll yeah. be the first to say it. Rice oh, was I'm lost in this that. tie, bro. But Retska showed him that yo, this is a this is a this is another level that you have to get to. You understand? You're not at this level. I was you getting bypassed for fun you're again. Nearly there. Bro. You're nearly there. Would, would we say? Would we say that levels got called? Badder man in the Champions um, League round. Yeah, so, would, would we say that levels one hundred million? Yeah, I was gonna million. say. Would we call that level the one hundred million level? Is, is that what that is? Is, is that what we pay, call that? You play. You pay Mount Mason right. Mount two hundred and fifty bags a week. Blood, we do, and you don't and even still play, blood. And you don't even yeah? play, and we're still closer to a trophy play, than you. And like I told you, and you will not win a trophy. Like I said to you, you will not. We're well, nothing this you. season, That's blood. all that yeah? Like, and, I told you And that. you will get caught by I Chelsea. Told, I told you And that. then you will get put in an I absolute told you that. fucking blender, I told you that. Yeah? Remember Chelsea that think we're making the final? Yeah? Remember that two weeks ago? Remember yeah. that? Oh, we're winning oh. a trophy. We're winning a trophy, blood. No, you're not. Yes, we can still win that. a trophy. We still what have trophy? a better chance to win a trophy than you. What? What is yeah? it? We still have a better chance than you. Are you mad? We have a better chance than you. What trophy? Yeah, you fucking What trophy? What trophy? What the fuck? You like? <laughs> to me, what trophy? What only trophy can we win, blood? Oh, we still in belief, yeah? Still believing still in, in the league, league man. Right, believe, that. Listen, let's go. Let me tell you let's something, blood. I am in I am in the race. I am just praying that Usain Bolt falls before the line. Yeah? All right. Cool. I am your yeah, hand, blood. Okay. I am right. there. And if you slip, pussy, I'm, I'm, a, a, I'm hoping a blood two, clot. Yeah? I'm going to take that analogy. I'm in the same boat. I'm hoping you same boat slips. So we can what? try and pick up a trophy. Nah, Bolt That's where I'm at. In your thing. And I'm here trying yeah. to trip up you, same Bolt. Nah, Bolt is you think, Hey, Chelsea, team. now Chelsea got this. I'm with Hassan in regards to them getting to the final. Yeah, 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 yeah. Chelsea got this, man. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Chelsea, up the Chelsea, man. I'm, I'm with Chelsea. But yeah, yeah. Troop still believes. Okay, love that. Even though I told you two <laughs> weeks ago, three weeks ago, four weeks ago, all weeks on this pod, I've spoken about Arsenal not being able to win a trophy. Said this mental block with your manager in your team. His record in April stinks. I think it's yeah, seven wins seven out of wins 20 in, games in April. Seven, yeah, seven in 20. Seven like, wins in 20 in April. So I'm you lot have like just that. moved. You lot have been saying this that, that's that's not even just Arteta. That's, that's, that's just... That's Arsenal awesome in general, bro. I've been, been saying this played 20 before. Games in, I don't think he's played 20 games in April. No, I'm in, no, I'm in bottling it in April. You might have got well, history. It's, it's all the way back like to 2008. Point it this way, your record's not good in April. 2008, is the bro. Take it back to the flipping... Wait, wait, wait. Bro. Nah, because... Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. wait, wait. How long is it? Wait, Arteta's been there three, four years, right? This is his fourth yeah. full season. Yeah, yeah. So he, this, he easily could have played that if you yeah, add in still, competitions. It might be him. Yeah, it is. Like, I'm saying, you lot have just... Because you're slightly better, I still have just moved from that, that February, March slot where you used to, to mess up. Now it's just a month. It's just a month longer. That's all it is. And like Hassan just said, I've been saying this, but because it's me and I'm a United fan and I run bants and run jokes with it, oh, I was hating and I don't know what I'm talking it. about. It. And it's the way I say it. And it's my face and it's my voice and bruh, ter, ter, and because I'm a United fan and all this, like I don't know what I'm talking Quality is quality at the end of the day. I will give credit where credit is due, oh, sure. all jokes aside from a quality perspective. And that's what Arsenal lack, quality. You know what I'm saying? You going away to the Allianz trying to get through to a Champions League semi-final with Kai Havertz up top. Just no. There was a time in the game where we was caught offside and we was on my watch along watching it and he ran away from the defender 
And I think I think he missed the shot or the keeper saved. And I was like, oh, he's definitely offside. It's kind of having to say running it's away not, from anybody. The whole team looks like shit, though. That was my point earlier on. It's not necessarily defending Saka. I'm just saying, like, all of them don't look good either. Like, even, like, let's oh, face yeah. it, in the first game at the Emirates, even Saliba and Gabriel making mistakes. Raya making mistakes. Rice making mistakes. So even the players that even you would say, okay, have been good players mm-hmm. for us in the season, even they've made mistakes. Yeah, so yeah, my yeah. point was earlier on is I think it's a mentality thing, not necessarily, you know, a Havertz or a Jesus or a Zinchenko or a whoever. I think it's a mentality thing in the squad. I think Arteta lacks leadership from that perspective because that's the only explanation I can actually give. I think but didn't he leader- bring those players in for their experience? No, no, I think there's a leadership issue. And for and a change in mentality. Jorginho, I agree with you, Lewis. You already you already said from before, he is experienced, yeah. right? But like in these nights, Declan Rice has some form of experience, not as much as the Bayern players, but he does have experience. But the rest of them, though, they just look just as bad. That's my point. Like Saliba and Gabriel didn't look better in this tie than Saka did, as an example. Over If, if, you, if you count, like, because they, like... At the end of the day, they conceded twice to Bayern at home from individual mistakes and errors. And, yeah, and they basically, the first game good. I thought it would decent so, in the so second. What I'm saying is, I think there's a mentality issue in which Arteta is not a true leader, and he doesn't know how to get his team ready for these level of games. The reason why I thought it changed this season was the fact that they beat City and they drew to City away at the Etihad. So I thought this season it changed, but maybe it's just it crunch changed. time. Yeah, maybe it's crunch time, it's April, it hasn't changed really. So, yeah, yeah I think the proof in the pudding will be in the next six games. It's good because that, I think Arsenal could even drop points to Wolves. And if yeah. Arsenal drop points to Wolves, then it just proves everything we've been saying. It just proves Arsenal it. Ain't, ain't that far away, like in terms of quality. But the problem is when you look at their forward line, it's like you have Sarko, yeah, I think he's it. The other two are squad players. They started with well, Havertz is awful, but the rest of their attackers, I should say, in that in that front three. So, like, if you got Martin, even though Jesus was awful off the bench, but like Jesus, Martinelli, those two off the bench. If you have two better players in front, of your team is better. Jorginho as a squad player, cool, but you need better. And this is what I've been talking about the entire time in terms of quality. It matters, like especially at crunch times at this level. Obviously, mentality and your mental attributes matter, but also your technical attributes and also your physical attributes. And this is why I waited and seen with Declan Rice, who was playing well and is still a very good player. Do not get him mistaken. How do you perform at these moments? This is where, you, if you are that guy, you turn up. And people say, well, it's only two games, but if he had performed well in these two games, that increases Arsenal's chances of going through in this tie so much. And that's what it is. It is his fine margins. It's very, very fine margins. Because I don't think Bayern Munich were great over the two legs, and I don't think they are a much better side. Bayern are so beatable. So yeah, that's beatable. the that's the that's the point I'm making. Even the Allianz game, they were so beatable. They were, they were they're they're taking it so it's so like it's just watching Arsenal be so lackluster is just pathetic. It's the way that they played, it's just so lackluster and dead. And it just like there is no there is no, you know, like let me actually do something in this game. Bayern were so beatable. Real Madrid are gonna slap the fuck out of Bayern Munich, by the way. Watch on the next round. Bayern are so beatable that like they could get destroyed. I'm actually being serious. You cannot allow Eric Dyer. I see Bayern Munich Real celebrating Madrid. the fact that they got um Real Madrid. Yeah, and that shows you that this Bayern ain't levels. That's a proof. Apparently, it's more because what like there's a fan base prefer that fixture. What like on, the heritage? Yeah, like they haven't played each other in six years, and like they, they just my friends from what I saw on Twitter, they all Last say they just they enjoyed played, didn't more. Beat them like I was gonna say, I, I was gonna say, yeah, they in did, recent, they did. In, in Ramos recent years, goals, I've been up, yeah, 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 it's more like a European goals. rivalry, in it. Like if we were in the Champions League, we'd celebrate facing Barca because we haven't faced them in a while, in it. Yeah, but haven't they been haven't they been moving to them of recent? Because where yeah, does Madrid that meme that goes smoking. around? Yeah, yeah, Madrid will smoke Madrid, them. Because you know, it's that meme and it was like Bayern Munich beat English side, then lose to the Spanish side. Mm-hmm. You know, like and I think they hate the oil money and everything and all that. Yeah, yeah, but look, the point is that this was five six years ago. We wouldn't be saying Madrid are going to smoke them. We'd say it'll, it'll, it'll yeah, be flips. one of the best games in the Champions League. It's going to be yep. this. It's going to be that. Now we're sat here going like Madrid are going to slap them, and rightfully so because they were there for the taking. Arsenal fucked up. I'm sorry. I'm not going to baby Arsenal and act like they're a small club. I've always said Arsenal are a big club. And that's the energy I'm showing them. Arsenal, this is a chance missed. In England. And, and, and by FYI, when you look at the teams that came out of the other side, which is PSG and Dortmund, you're thinking, okay, 
if Arsenal somehow, some way managed to do some shit in the semi-final, they probably have the easiest final pickings like out of the teams that they would want to face in the final. But listen, they ended up they ended up messing around and, and finding out this just the reality. So toothless. Look around to find out. The team that was there for the taking. Yeah, and that that's it. I can enjoy that's... the I can hey both English sides out. I can enjoy yeah, the like we... to be finally peace, man. No, no hate English watching. Team. I was saying, just enjoying some good oh, yeah. football, you, man. You do hate your lungs. I do watch your lungs, but yeah, I, I'm just so glad. I can yeah, I do chill. watch your lungs as well. I don't do hate yeah. your lungs. Yeah, but it's great. Even yeah. Don Carlo, get, yeah, yeah. Don Carlo gets you just won't title it. We see you. Yeah, yeah, we see you. you know what I'm saying, even Don Carlo gets another Champions League, and Mbappe gets one if PSG win it, or Sancho gets one if Dortmund win it. So as long as it's not Bayern, cool. Dortmund beating Atletico is incredible, but we'll get to it in a sec. Coins Cave. He says, can't wait to see Chelsea mid in the championship. I guess so. We could get relegated, win the championship, come back up, fix up and win the league and you still wouldn't have won a trophy. Hold that. <laughs> Kenny Fan TV. Stop the cross blood. Stop the cross blood. <laughs> big up my guy, Ed. He says, I just heard Zidane might take over by next year. But anyway, big up the panel. We all bottled it this season. This was a weaker city team under Pep. Yeah, we bet we bottomed it hundred percent. Lewis hates Arsenal more than he loves Chelsea. Proper Chelsea, proper Chelsea. <laughs> Yo, truths don't be a pussy. Yo. Show the chat and read it. You think I'm trying to get my ting demonetized, blood? You must be fried, mate. If Hussam's telling me don't read it, I ain't reading it, blood. <laughs> Are you mad? <laughs> Hussam's from that side. From like, I'm from that side of Pakistan, but I don't know. Like about certain things. So if he's telling me don't do it, I ain't doing yeah, it. Yeah, like. Facts, it's like if something, it's like if someone says something in Jamaican, and I'll be like, "Yo, who's up? Yo, 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 don't worry, don't worry, like, you understand? Like it's that type of thing, bro. So you get me. Also, okay, just because you spend your money doesn't mean we are obliged to read like the stuff that you send. You yeah, know, you the free to... Palestine bit, we're fine with. And, yeah, you that's know, calm. That's why I posted the last one. But it's so the it's other like... part. It's mm -hmm. not Al Jazeera. You get me? You this get is me. This is true TV, bro. And we're here to talk football. So like you and subscribe. Yeah. You get me? And sit on the floor. Back again. You, you already know. Like a blood clot game. Yeah. You understand? Come on, say it at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> no, did he? <laughs> Big up, Kiefer. He says, you saw him. You repeatedly said at the beginning of the season, you can clip me. City won't win this league this season. In January, you said, if they make no signings, they have zero chance. What changed? I don't remember saying City have zero chance. That's you absolutely waffling. I've never said City have zero chance. I've always said City are favourites. Uh, I, th I thought Arsenal were going to win the league this season. That was my initial prediction. But in January, I thought Liverpool and Arsenal both needed a striker. And we just didn't address that. So that's what made me a bit less confident. But that's why I'm saying we only have ourselves to blame. This, by the way, if you win the league this season, it's not City amazing. City are not amazing. It's us. Like, we have fucked up. It's not you that's amazing. Big up Mohammed. He says, big up guys. Troops, it's a mentality thing with us. We need the guys that have won before to stand and push this team. The thing is that there's not a lot of people that have won in this team, blood. You understand? So, you get me. It's... it's <laughs> It's difficult, blood. You understand? See, it's Bell. Difficult. That's what it is. You're the better manager and a couple better players, and you'll be in a better place. That's what it is. That's why you fall. I think short. a couple players, and then I think Arteta could do something. I'm not going to lie. Big up Kurt Chaos, my GG. He says, Do you think it's down to complacency knowing his spot is guaranteed? And it's first season in Champions League. I think he's crying for a backup that can push him. I've been saying for time he needs um, competition. I've been saying for time he needs cover as well because. I understand as well that he is overplayed. He plays all the games for England, all the games for Arsenal, don't get substituted for either. So it's a lot of, you understand? It's a big load on him. No diddy. You get me? So you understand? I think um, in my... You could have in, syndrome soon if you don't arrest That's him. what I'm saying. In my opinion, we need a striker, a right winger and a centre mid in the summer. If we get like proper ones in those areas, I think we can kick on blood. We got Uber 7. He says Liverpool 18th in Premier League in big chances versus goals scored XG. By the way, that Arteta quote is real. I saw that interview after the game. Jesus Christ. He is a psychopath. He is. Six psychopath. months of gaslighting fans just saying, oh, we need another striker. 
I need a striker. But the thing is, everyone knew you needed a striker last summer. <laughs> like, who could score 30 to 40 and, goals? And then they signed Kai Havertz, who got eight <laughs> goals. We got Zoteng. He <laughs> says, hi ho, hi ho. Troops is a pussy old. Low. X ended your blood clot with that one. Low. Arteta did a good job, but now you lot need a Don Carlo. I'm kind of of, um, what's the word? I've kind of come to terms with the fact that he's going to be here for next season. So if you don't bring that on next season, then the madman might have to step outside. You get me? Big up Mustafa. He says, cry babies, cry nonstop while Ozen, Ozel silenced for life. That is true, blood. Uh, one minute, that's the wrong one. There we go. Troops does not believe shit. He knows deep down, says Brox. Um, like I said, we're in a race. You get me? We are still in the race, whether people like it or not. You get me? There's two points, bro. So are we not in the race, blood? It's just, are we going to win the race? You get me? Smart. On. Big up Uber7. He says, Hussam would take... Hussam, would you take Watkins? Best number nine in the Premier League, in my opinion. You know, I think Oli Watkins is overrated. That's why this guy's asking me this question. Listen, he's playing fantastically this season. Currently, I have Nunez, Diaz, and Gakpo. So there's many strikers in the world I would take. But yeah, I'm just, uh, I don't know on that one. Oli Watkins is a striker. I just don't rate. We got Abdullah. He says, Kai scored two late winners versus Brentford. Assisted uh, versus City home. Got crucial points in this race. More goals and assists than most. Unfair treatment after first season for Arsenal where he's been overplayed due to depth. Overplayed? Bruh. How many games has he played? You, you know, you know, you know, he had the most minutes for us last season as well, so he can clearly handle the minutes. O overplayed where? Let me check. He played 50 games or something. So he's played 10 games in the league, 31 in the no, 10 games in Champions League, 31 in the league, two in the FA, two in the, two in the um, Carabao Cup. And then he's played one, obviously, the community short. So he's played 30, 41, 43. He's played 44 games. No, yeah, I rate it. He's still drinking the Kool Aid. Yeah, because yeah, you know what the crazy part yeah, is? I bet Saka's numbers are like that, and we wouldn't say that for Saka. Saka's played no, forty-four, I think. There. there we go. When we wouldn't, we wouldn't. That would there would never be a super chat saying it's that. It's only about his Saka. fourth season. Saka has been league, overplayed, man. though. But but that's the point. No, but that's the point I'm making is. But Kai Saka's hasn't started all of them games. Saka started exactly. all of them games. Exactly, and this ties into the point I was just talking about in regards to Kai Havertz and the excuses that would never. Saka could have played fifty-five games, yeah. and it would, and and it, nobody's super chatting that. Because we're not trying to hear that. But for him, it's different, is the point I'm making. Big up Southpaw. He says, Troops, I remember who Sam said last summer we need game changers like Alisson and Van Dyke. Now Arteta needs to sign elite striker and midfielders. That's what I'm saying. That's what I keep saying. If we can get a proper striker, a right winger to cover Saka, and a proper centre midfielder, fuck all this left back talk. We don't need a left back, blood. You got Timba, you got Tommy Yasu, get rid of the crybaby. Two left backs is, is enough, blood. Yeah. Kiwi or could go in there and do a job if, if he if needed. That's free, blood. So you don't need that, blood. Yeah. There's no fucking right winger apart from Saka, blood. Yeah. And we don't have a fucking striker. And fucking Partey is half dead. So go and address the fucking positions that need to be addressed, blood. We got GOD underscore AEM. Chelsea versus Arsenal is on my birthday. Palmer Hatchick would be the best present. That's You're dark. massive mad. And we ain't seen you for a minute, G.O.D., blood. You've been hiding yeah. like your front line, blood. You understand? Facts. Let's get that in as well, dog. the words right out of my mouth because he's been adamant all season. I like. That Liverpool are winning the league. You and get me? Points and 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 quiet, him. blood. You thought we forget. Seen him. Nah, <laughs> blood. I think like your front <laughs> line is a class insult. <laughs> we got stars are aligned in FC. Sorry, took Wednesday <laughs> off as well. You're well, lad. Yeah, I bet you did, blood, you dickhead. Shout out, stars are aligned. Man like Ed. <laughs> And he says, never tell a gal she's 16 out of 10. <laughs> Send the 16 out of 10, blood. <laughs> and he says, can't wait to buy the merch in the US. Man. Yeah, it will be available for worldwide shipping. Uh, the 22nd people, all the information's on the website. They got Lord Az Azen. He says, troops, let's have the Palmer versus Saka debate. No more running from it. Hmm. According to Lewis, he's on Vinicius's level. That's the nah, crazy man part. To slow down, blood. Man, man's, man's dining on the same table. Man's dining on the same table. Lewis, he's above that level. He's Ballon d'Or. Palmer for Ballon d'Or. 
I'm going to say it. In terms like, of a world class argument, he does need a second season. I do agree with Sam. Exactly. Exactly. But for this exactly. season, Palmer's having a better season than Saka. Yeah, I hear that. I'm not going to deny that, blood. He ain't better than Saka, though, right now. Palmer's having a better season than a lot of players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Him. But it don't mean he's. It's like there was like there was points where. It doesn't mean he's better full stop. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, you need I longevity. Said Rice was better. As well. I said Rice was playing better than Rodri, but Rodri's better than Rice, isn't it? But it don't mean because Rice was playing better at that part of the season that he was better than Rodri. And I kept stating yeah. that, yo, Rice is on better form than Rodri. He's not better than Rodri. You get me? Form is doing, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Mm. You understand? Um, Mr. 16 out of 10 is back again. He says, Maka could have passed a ball in the last few games. Uncomfortable <laughs> conversations. Hussam overrates him. Thomas Tuchel, we will excel with him in the Champions League. Yeah, see, Hussam ain't giving no <laughs> air time. Big up C Flair. He said, Troops, AKA's Arsenal's human sacrifice. Real talk, up the Chels. Up the Chels. My G. Don C, my D. My G, blood. My D. Pause, blood. Boy, boy. Hey, yo. Let's just hey. yo. Hey, yo, blood. Let me, my, hey, my, yo. Don, Don C, blood. Yeah. No excuses where we, um, no excuses. We were crap. So, in Ketia, Jesus and Zinni. We need killers in the team, and we have Care Bears. I remember the Care Bears. Care in the, bears in, the, in the woods. Hey. Mr. 16 out of 10. Troops, it's okay, bro. Some teams don't belong in the Champions League. Nothing wrong with that. It's for the elite. Sophie will cook you next week. Well, Sophie's doing the marathon next week, blood, so she ain't cooking no one. You get me? Maybe you're going to go to the marathon so you can get a whiff of her. No, did he? That's <laughs> okay. Big up Ed. He says, never tell a gal. She's 16 out of 10. He says, Lewis, play. 16 out of 10. Clip. This Ray Ray needs humbling. Please, can we just get can that? We actually play it. Like, yeah, I need outside. it in the chamber. Yeah, you I, know I, what I the crazy part is? It. Hey, truth, it man. Add, add it to your stream yard. I have it there. Anytime he says anything. Yeah, at least I didn't do this. Clip. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know your stream yard. Mm -hmm. Oh, I played it yesterday. As soon as he oh, came loves that Hassan. Keep it, yeah. Keep that running on rotation, man. Keep that running yeah. on rotation. Oh, I imagine I went in, even through us, I went into the stream, and the first thing I saw was the clip. I said, What the fuck? I said, Bro, is this I said, blood, it's not like the stream just started. We're like 45 minutes into the stream, blood. I yeah, said, what it was. He was talking because he was talking <laughs> rubbish in the chat. Yeah, That's right. right. Yeah. Anytime you you yeah. Look, I see Anytime it. Oh, well, let me just get through these two real quick. He yeah, says, Big up Southpaw, my G. He says, Troops, even if we sack Arteta, I don't trust the owners, they'll bring the Zerbi. Type of shit. We need world class managers. Zidane, Angelotti, and Zaghi, Simeone. That's the thing as well. I don't trust Conky and them, blood. I can't lie, blood. Them man, them man, right in the game as well. The pussyos. So hopefully they saw that we need fucking reinforcements. Big up Ed one more time. Serious question: Has Premier League taken a step back this year after all the clubs are out of Europe? No, I don't think so. That's nah. been a little humbling experience for I the Premier League. So. I just think that City drew Real Madrid. They beat anybody else. That's mm -hmm. in there. Any of the non-English sides they beat. It's just that, that. I've said that. That was the final before the final, in my opinion. <laughs> By the way, can I just are. say, the two girls below us are looking 16 out of 10 today, both of them. <laughs> All right, big up the panel. I Oh, it's brilliant. Another reminder to get your 16 out of 10 shots on Sarcasm City TV. Big up. Yeah, no, it makes it. It's, it's beautiful. London, like, big up the panel. <laughs> I've tried to get back to the show. I like, oh, it's I Jan's about straight face that gets to me. Hey, word mm. has it, Jan still has she a She don't move. move. She's, she's like, she's like, <laughs> looking confused, like, what well, I'm to this you? But um, other Champions League games, Real Madrid won. Or should I say Man City won, Real Madrid won, Man City go out on penalties. Bernardo Silva with a shocking penalty. But a lot of people are saying that was down to the crowd having the ball for, 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 for a period of time. I think it took like 45 seconds for the ball no, to no, come back. No, no, but no. I don't. I, I Lunin, you know that. what it was, Troops? Lunin did his homework because Bernardo Silva's took penalties like that before. Is it? That's what it was. I seen the clip. Who I can't remember what shootout it was, but there's a recent shootout from, from City and he hit the penalty straight down the middle. So Lunin knew. How often do we not? How often do we see a keeper not dive? He had done it. He'd done his homework. Mm. The chat won't know what I'm talking. They'll know the game that I'm talking about, and I'm sure people in the chat would have seen the clip around on the socials as well. He knew. Well done to Lunan, to be fair. Yeah. yeah. City yeah, he dominated, though. I can't lie. Like Madrid didn't even want to 
play type of thing, blood. It, it was, it was kind of like only City wanted to win that game, blood. Yeah, I think. Oh, well, yeah, Madrid's Etihad the way you'll always do that. Yeah, I think Real Madrid's only shot on target was the in the, was the goal, mm -hmm. like the 12 minute, and then for that. But hey, that's more so. Forget about what Real Madrid did do or didn't do in attack. Hey, City, you gotta do more. You have all the, all that attacking talent, all that possession. You're at home. Break them down. And that's, that's where I give Real Madrid, Madrid credit. Yeah, I give and I give Real Madrid credit for um, the defensive, um, how they defended, and also your two two of your best attacking players asking to come off. That's a bad sign. Tired yeah, we yeah, well, like Harlan and uh, Harlan that the Bruyne. Bruyne. I'm not here with it. People can say, "Oh, they tackled me." Avey was talking about this yesterday. What, they, he was like, what, oh, is the 15? FA Cup more important on Saturday?" <laughs> hey, the Chelsea test. Some people struggle. You know, you know, you know. I'll, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I think you know, um, this game. I completely disagree with the troops. Real Madrid wanted to win the game, and they executed their game plan to perfection. I There's said more play. than one. No, no, no. I don't care. They defended well. It's Carlo Ancelotti. No, but like, that's, that's the way people like like to look down on defensive football. Yeah, in, they in defended mind. incredibly well. Let's be they real. Go on early, bro. You sit back. On a real, no agenda. If I really what they done because we've done part. the same thing like two weeks ago. Maybe they saw uh, we, we, did, we tried to do the same thing at one nil up too. Yeah, they don't even score if if if, if Rudiger could just clear, clear the ball properly. So like Rudiger had an incredible game overall, but I'm saying in that moment, mm. like he yeah. if he just cleared the ball properly, Man City don't even score. And and I think Man City only have themselves to blame. Jack Grealish is just one of the most overrated wingers I've seen in the world. This guy, all he does is get the ball, look at the fullback for 25 seconds and then pass the ball back. Why are you wasted 20 seconds of my life? There was even a moment on the first half, Jude Bellingham is defending you. He's playing striker for Real Madrid. He's a number 10. He's not even known for his defending. Attempt something. Doku comes on and yes, the 10 shit things that he does, eight, seven, eight out of them do not work. It's fair. But the two that do work, one of them led to a goal. Like, he actually attempted something. Doku came on directly, dribble past Carvajal, cross, attempt this, attempt that, shoot, blah, blah, blah. Grealish was so dead. And the problem is, every time you speak to with Man City fans... Doku is an actual one. winger, isn't it? Like, Grealish is going to want to yeah. come inside. No, did he? Gre no, but he wasn't like... The line and get to the byline and whip it. He wasn't like... Know, he, pillar, he don't have to, yeah, even though I hear you, Hassan, that he should be performing better, he doesn't yeah. have the freedom... That he had at Aston Villa. We know Pep don't. He's not allowing yeah, his come players. Grealish has the freedom to do that shit, and Grealish doesn't. No, it's not a I question of that. It's different. Like no, Grealish has never. But Grealish has never been a direct take on his man winger like Doku. Doku's more an old school winger. He's gonna direct. He's gonna. He's gonna attack his fullback. Whereas Grealish will do that, but he does it in a dip. Like for instance, Grealish at Villa, he's drifting inside. He's drifting in the young. No, there's no drifting oh, at Manchester City. Villa was a completely different player. I feel like City, Pep Guardiola, and Manchester City fans have. Uh, Pep Guardiola has brainwashed Manchester City fans to think that a winger keeping the ball is now a good game. It is not a good game. Get inside the shit but game. It, but it is to, and I hear you, but it is to Pep because Pep wants yes. his wingers I, to I do that. that. And that. that's where, like, even though Grealish, don't get me wrong, Grealish needs to be performing better without that because yeah. you have the skill and the talent too. But the reason why you don't see the Villa, the Grealish you've seen at Villa is because of Pep. Because you're not, he's not going to allow his wingers to drift inside and then you pop up on the right wing or you're in the 10 or you're playing as a false nine. Or yeah, you go get Henry right said that as well. Henry said that he, like, he assisted a goal and Pep looked at him like, bro, why did you go over there? I told you yes. stay there, blood. And then that's he got dropped for the next game. Pep is yep. very, very regimented and very, like, deliberate with how he wants his teams to play. And it works for the most part, but when it don't work, you have to look at Grealish and go, why sign him if you're going to take away that from him? But maybe he was 100 Grealish, mil. Yeah, he technically, but he'll do what Pep wants in regards to keeping the ball. That's one thing Grealish will do, and that's what Pep wants. But Lala, I gave you that the game. money, you would keep the ball on the wing as well. A little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing, though. We know the quality that Jack Grealish has. I don't know about that. They spent that much on him, but there's <laughs> also about that. It's been well. taken out of his <laughs> game. Hey, if I told you work hard and keep the ball, you'd pass it to the left back every time. No problem. Come hey, on, keep it the ball. That's why Grealish is the work right team hard. where the whole team's just played around him. That's a bit. You know what I'm saying? Mm. The work is hard. That's a bit. We had were toothless in that game. Phil Foden, you yes. know, we love to get on to Saka. And fair enough, if you want to say Saka the shit game, Foden just Foden was a ghost. Casper, he, well. he fully ghosted. 
We I didn't even notice he was in the game. I thought he got subbed off before the penalties. But, you know, Bernardo Silva, hold that, you rat. You rat. You sewage rat. You and Bruno, both of you guys, are ugly cousins, hideous cousins, disgusting cousins. <laughs> hold that, Br- Bernardo Silva, you rat. Yeah, exactly. That's what you get. Fucking hate that. But it's crazy. And, and with Foden, I hear you, but I can't get over. So I can't get over. Penalty. So happy. I can't get over KDB and Haaland asking to come off. That's crazy. Yeah. Because yeah. it wasn't the Chelsea final. Final. final at home to Real Madrid. At home to Real Madrid, blood. And you're yeah. in the Whoever ascendancy. Whoever wins this game wins the Champions League, probably. Yeah. Yeah. And you say, before it goes to extra time, yo, I can't do this. Yeah. They, like you fight hey, freedom. Because you would rather have De Bruyne on a penalty than Kovacic. Hey, but... that's what I'm saying. Haaland and KDB probably take two of those five pens. Mm-hmm. They probably and take speaking two of, of Holland flawless. Anyone who said no. Holland should win Ballon d'Or last year, hold, hold your head in shame. <laughs> yeah, he's gone on crap, blood. Alhamdulillah, <laughs> I was never on that train. No way. Alhamdulillah, I was never on that train. No way. The worst compilation Ballon d'Or history. Yeah, I've watched so many Ballon d'Or ceremonies. By far, worst comps: tapping, headers, and penalties for for ten minutes. That's mm. all the fucking showed us. And he got pocketed yet again. He's been pocketed by Saliba. He's been pocketed by Gomez, by Gabriel, by Van Dyke, by Sassi. You mosquito. Yeah. By, 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 by Rudiger. By bro, you know who was the other defender for Real Madrid? Nacho. Yeah, Nacho. Nacho banged the penny. You're not dominating Nacho, Achi. Nacho, Nacho. binged it. How are you not dominating Nacho? Edison's penny he was bad though. Yeah, 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 his penalty was cold. Yeah, Edison's well. penalty like, was cold. Because when Modric missed his penalty, I was, ah, uh, the, the sky fell. I couldn't I believe like, oh, it. He's not going to win it. Yeah, I, I could, said, like, shit. It was, yes. If but then I thought, someone... wait, you know what? They might concentrate on Champions League more defending it than the four. So maybe we could creep in and get the league. But then when they went out, I said, shit, they're going to concentrate on the league now, blood. Yeah, we're done. Yeah, that's why I said season's done, brother. Yeah, Enjoy we're done. Enjoy the ride. Hey, hey, Real Madrid, shout out to you. You lot did what needed to be done. Thank you. Contents Atletico Madrid um, going out. What a mm. game that was in Dortmund. Result. What a absolute. It would have been so result. different if Morata scored his one on one. Took me back. Missing another one. You get me. Um, them results have mean have meant that there can't be a fifth place uh, representer from England now. Um, so Tottenham, hold that, you fucking Nando eating little inbred. Dickheads, you get me. I can't because, get you know, Europe with eight. You will people. not. You will not get top four blood. Yeah, good evening. Is gonna get top four blood. Good evening. Is gonna win a trophy blood. Yeah. So hold that, you kangaroo looking pricks. Yeah. Hold that. Yeah. Okay. Big up Winter Surfer, my G. He says, get in line, guys. I got the sixteen out of ten uppercuts for Ray Ray. Big up Surfer, my done every single time. Big up. Big up Steven. He says, Big up Flawless. Emmy Martinez, proper shit house up. Yeah, that's one thing I will say. Uh, I'm bad thinking. Blood, so how did he not get sent off, though, blood? I swear he got two yellow cards and he still, like, continued. Apparently, it's because the game's um, technically over when it gets Oh, so it starts again? No, so the two yellows don't really mean anything. Yes. Oh, you just shit. keep racking them up. Bro, that's mad. Big up G.O.D. <laughs> he says, Flawless, forget what I said on your live stream. The double is still on. Wait, what double? I like. Oh, oh yeah, because you won the Carabao, Carabao Cup. And league, innit? And, and, and the league, innit? Uh, and Oh, so, yeah. wait. The man are going on the energy. I said, energy forget what he said, career, but bro. then said the double's still on. Uh, hey, man, keep, keep drinking the Kool-Aid, my guy. Big up Mr. Brown. He says, I love how mid-table fans of done and dusted, mudded Chelsea and United have so much chess for a squad that's far Ooh. superior to theirs and spent less money. Your bum teams can fight. Sorry, your bum teams can fight for mediocrity hold that i don't even know that's mad support. we're both closer to a trophy than you are yeah facts and you no, know, don't even not. know he's i don't I, we're, I don't we're two games know away support. you are about seven you're seven games away we're two games away and i don't hey i need that and i don't even know who you support but hey hey my fault your team ain't winning a major oh, trophy but you know no. we're winning the same amount that's what's gonna happen we're winning, we got marks got the vision amount. He says, lol, that well, that well had thought he had Riz about 16 out of 10. <laughs> Fucking donut. <laughs> don't love that. Yeah. Sounds like me, innit, it, blood? It we got Gabrielle looking 16 <laughs> out of 10. No, <laughs> Look, he says, Mr. 16 out of 10, stop talking. You flip. You flip on your team more than people flip their pancakes on the stove. And go take some lessons in how to talk to girls. Let's just let me let me just unpack this real quick because the people know the question. 
Lukaku is better than Mo Salah. We should sell Virgil van Dijk. McAllister is the Argentinian Harry Winks. Soboslai is the next Gerard. I could go on and on with his shit opinions. Don't Congratulations forget Klopp out. on winning the league. Congratulations Liverpool on winning the league. Now it's City going to win the league. This guy is all over the place. If you just give me just give me 10 minutes with Ray Ray in, in a ring no, and he will come out a different man. Because the only no, way to fix his brain is to punch the shit out of him. That's okay. the only way to fix his brain. Big we up, got bro. Strasbourg, Steve. Make sure you sub to bro. He says, Pep was probably being sarcastic about De Bruyne and Harlan wanting to be subbed off. We all know Pep loves to mess with the media and be hella sarcastic. But in that type of game, I'm not sure, blood. No, I don't. And with a game, not a, a game of that magnitude, of I can't see, you get me, Messi or Messi and fucking uh, Pedro saying, oh, Pep, we need to come off, blood. I'm you tired. feel me? No, no, no. That's not the time nor place, even if he is being sarcastic. Mm -hmm. You just lost in the Champions League quarterfinal. We ain't trying right. to hear that. Big up Zia Talks. He said, what's popping, panel? Hussam, Haram, free like, underestimating Haram us. Haram, like, underestimating us versus okay, baby us. What is it? What does GG mean? Good game. Good game. Okay. Good game, troops. And big up Lewis for the set uh, for the setup. Big up, man. Goodbye, fan. We got Andy Q. He says, I'm ready for the cooking of my team. I'm sorry to run my mouth this past week. Barca was the biggest fist up of the midweek. Cook me, guys. Season done. Yeah, you man got. Andy's back. been getting cooked no, everywhere, he's bro. He's been getting cooked everywhere, bro. Barca are a joke. You're the Barcelona, mm -hmm. Rere. Mm hmm. We got Uber Seven. He says, I'm in Norway. Haaland doesn't do anything when we face a decent team. He scores for against San Marino, but goes missing versus good ones. Overrated. Mm -hmm. Uncomfortable. We got Frankie. He says, if Liverpool end up parading a Carabao Cup, we get in laugh-alongs. I know Nunes will end up dropping the cup and Usam will be like, there you are. There, 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 there. there. there you are. If we parade the Carabao Cup, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lose my mind. We got Rishwin. He says, question, what have Man United and a three-pin plug got in common? Answer, they both, they're both of bugger all use in Europe. My team has the second most European trophies on the panel. What are we talking about here? <laughs> what, are we ta what are we doing? <laughs> big up comedy star. He says, big up the panel. I have 16 out of 10 kick for Mr. 16 out of 10. <laughs> That's the good super chat from you, comedy star. I lie. Big up comedy star, blood. <laughs> Liverpool, you saw. Are you gonna bring out any cringe stats or? Now nah, I want to ask a question now. Yeah, ask. If Klopp doesn't win the Premier League, yeah, we won't. Is um, Rafa Benitez <laughs> a better manager at Liverpool than Jurgen Klopp? Because all Klopp no, has no. over him, no, did he? Is the Premier League? No, he won everything else: Champions League, FA Cup. No, he's not a better manager. Troops, you are so shameless. Nah, <laughs> he, had, he had title races against Fergie, came second. Yeah, but Benitez is the reason why we didn't win the league, Troops. I don't think necessarily... No, it's Klopp, Klopp is... not the reason why you didn't win the league. Oh, because no, no, the way listen, he's listen. set out your team in the last few weeks has been very sus. And what he's been telling them at halftime, your second half performance is very sus. Here's the thing. First of all, you need to be a yoga instructor, the way you're stretching out shit. No Second of all, when it comes to Jurgen Klopp, Klopp is not the reason why we haven't won a league title this season. The players are. The players are just not good enough. The reality is, every game we've dropped points in this season, bar Arsenal away, we've been the better team. Think about it logically. No agendas. Luton, we created enough chances to win the game. Same with City, same with United. Home and away, you could even say. Arsenal at home as well. The Trent chance where he hit the post, hit the bar, whatever it is. I, I cannot blame Jurgen Klopp for us not winning the league this season. It's genuinely the player is just not good enough. And I think, you know, flawless. I've actually been quoting flawless on this quote that he said a month ago, which I genuinely fully just like accept and agree with at this point. We actually need to just stop giving players an out every single time and just manager, 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 manager. Now, the, the, one, the one thing that I'll say Jurgen Klopp had a bad matchup is Atalanta. But I'll tell you why, because we look toothless yesterday. Like, we fully look toothless. This this time, if Flawless asks, name the clear-cut chances, I cannot name them. Because there was no clear-cut chances. So this is the difference. But if you're talking about the league troops, it's a completely different thing. Against Crystal Palace, you, you all said it yourself. We could have scored five, six goals. We yeah. missed them all. 
I cannot yeah. go like, oh, that's your fault. You know, so if if we go back to the games where we drop points in this season, had Jurgen Klopp uh, had had the players, sorry, just taking their chances, taking their opportunities, and you know what's starting to worry me, troops? I'm looking at Jota now, who's a player that even everyone says is clinical and shit. Against Atalanta, misses two headers from like three yards, misses a, a like a tap in against Crystal Palace, and he comes on against Atalanta and plays like shit as well. And it just, I'm getting to the point where I'm like, okay, there is no way the infestation has gotten to Jota as well. Like, it's getting to the stage where it's just laughable at this point. Let me give you stats since you won't give them. Nine games, we've kept zero clean sheets. And in the last five games, we have zero open play goals. We've either scored from set pieces or penalties. That's, oh, that's, that's mad. That's that's and crazy. that's exactly why when you look at the stats... But isn't that down to cop? Clock, no, sorry, because no, of the style no. of play. It's the opposite. Because if we have the possession mm. and the chances and the big chances and the one-on-ones and the players are not scoring, by definition, I cannot blame the manager. Like, Flawless doesn't like Ten Hag. Lewis doesn't like Pochettino. But even they would not blame the manager for a chance missed right in front of goal. Like, even... I still remember how pissed off Lewis was. That was all things Chelsea fans do. Yes, it is. To an extent, but you get my other point. Take a side. Even how pissed off he was against the Wolves game, he still came out and said what Sterling done in the first half. He shouldn't have done that because that that's one of the parts that cost them the game. Now, for me, I'm watching Liverpool dominate week in, week out. Against Manchester City, we had more possession, more accurate passes, more corners, more shots, more shots on target. We had the more dangerous chances, higher XG, everything. But the players didn't didn't score the goals. I'm not. I, I cannot blame the manager by definition. So yeah, the only the Atalanta, I I will blame him because we looked toothless and we didn't create. There's a difference between not creating and getting chances but not scoring. Not creating, you can hold the manager accountable. Not scoring, I cannot hold the manager accountable because that's on the players to execute at the end of the day. And listen, we were out the Europa League anyway last week. You know, we lost 3-0. We don't have prime Fabinho, a Robertson that can cross, prime Mane, prime Firmino, even Shakiri and Origi. I don't think I'm exaggerating when I'm saying 18, 19 and 19, 20 Origi, I'm taking them over Nunez, Gakpo and Diaz right here, right now, directly. Like if you tell me I'm going to drop you 18, 19 version of Divock Origi to this team, I'm taking him 100% over, over the ones that we have. So they've let us down repeatedly. And I think it's affected the only two good forwards we have as well because Salah's now missing chances and Jota's missing chances. Uh, one on so one. The ones that we're supposed to rely on are also not taking their chances, which at this point, you know, it's just becoming jarring at this point, you know? The positive is we kept a clean sheet. We did not concede the goal. Yes, we did not concede the goal for the first time in nine games. So, yeah, we have... And I'll be honest with you, I cannot be confident facing anyone. If you tell me, are you confident away at Fulham? No, I'm not. Because... Attack wins your games, defense wins your titles. We have an attack that doesn't win us games and a defense that cannot keep a clean sheet. So, yeah, it's just, listen, it's just, uh, at the end of the day, this is this is how it's going to end. We're going to end the, the, the last year with a Carabao Cup. Hopefully, Liverpool 2.0 are a bit more ruthless, show a bit less loyalty, and just kind of keep progressing as an institution to a place where we can challenge and win and stop this hugging and loving culture of where it's like, you know, let's keep the players till they expire, basically, and all this shit, and the loyalty, I'm not replacing players. There's there's a lot of mistakes. I actually feel like I need to do like a three-hour special just unpacking and unplugging everything in the Klopp oh, era, indeed. what led us to having one league title in nine years, which I think there's so many different factors, but I think there's, there's, there's a, a lot. Idea? There's a lot. There, yeah, Talk on Salah either. because Salah's getting a lot of heat, blood. People are saying that you get me. He's got no Mane there, no Firmino there. He's gone goals on several occasions. He has these like when you've won your title, he went goals for like what was it nine games with no goal? Like he's, if he scored that one on one in the first half, it changes the momentum massively. Do you know what I mean? Like I still don't think what's we going on, bro. Listen, is is this the time? It. I remember what I said. I said I think Salah leaves end of the season. Mm -hmm. And he got a year left time... too. Or am yeah. I bugging? A year or two? I think he's got a year left. A year, one year left for his contract. So he's either going to yeah, be on a free or it's time to cash in. He's not looking like Mo Salah running down the wing. He ain't looking like that, blood. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he's looking just, like he's, look, that, look, he's looking like he's he wants to run to the, the airport with club. Here's the thing, despite that troops, he's still the best forward. <laughs> no, I swear down, blood. <laughs> even even when he gets the ball, <laughs> and if, I, I've, I've already right said it, bags packed. Yalla, yalla, I'm gone. Yalla, yalla. <laughs> I don't even think he moves to Saudi. That's the crazy part. I think he goes to Saudi. There you are. There you are. There you are. There you are. This guy. Yeah, yeah, this guy. Look at him, yo. Look at this guy. Yeah, he wants to be his club. And he's in club with his feet up. Salah's like, there you are. There you are. This guy's an idiot, yo. This guy. Look at him. 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 Yeah, he's done. He's done. Yeah. <laughs> he's done. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> so much to laugh as well. He fucking knows, lad. No, I'm not laughing. He's having a mouth. This is ridiculous. I don't say there you are. I say there you are. Oh my god! Jesus. Well, now you put more emphasis on the there. I like. No, I always say the. I've already explained. I'm not Egyptian. Oh. Egyptians are the one that say the za instead of the. We say that I roll my R's, not my THs. Anyway, back to the to the question because this guy want to press today. I don't know why. No, With the, Mo Salah, he's still the best forward we have. Even when he has a shit game, he gets the ball and he's trying to to create. He's trying to do something. The others, when they have a bad game, it's like real bad. And by the way, troops, why the fuck would I sell Salah before I sell Diaz and Nunez? Because you can actually get money for Salah. We gonna okay, get how much can I get for Salah? You got a year left. Like the Saudi man, you could get 80 million for, from the Saudi man. Okay, okay, no problem. Hold that thought. Yeah. The PSG are offering 60 million for Luis Diaz. Okay. Are they? And how much do you think we can get objectively for Nunez? Forget what, because we all agree Nunez is shit. No problem. But think of his reputation around Europe. The fact is Uruguay is number nine. It's not like we're going to get nothing, Yanni. You can get 50. 50. Yeah. Fair? Yeah, okay, yeah. that's 110. Okay, I get 110 million and I keep my best forward. Why the fuck would they sell him? That, that's the but then, that's you lose, but then you risk losing him on a free. But I don't risk losing him on a free because I give him a contract. Will he but sign? He sign? That's the thing. Yeah, I think he will. But dependent on the direction the club is headed, in, you know. And people keep talking about the Saudi move. I actually really think he could get he could get a move to to Spain still. Where? Barca. Troops actually, Rafinha is playing for Barcelona, respectfully. This, a lot of this is dependent on your next manager. Mm -hmm, Does yeah. he want to keep Salo? That is a major, oh, major... Salah want to play under him. And also, yeah, that they're the two things. Because the new manager yeah. could come in and say, Salah, yeah, I want you to stay. We're going to do this, that, and the third. And Salah could go, yeah, I'm with it. Or he could say, no, there's I want to move unknown. on. That's why I can't really there's answer a, it fully. There's a, lot of there's a lot of variables going into this because of it. Like if Klopp was staying, it makes it much easier to try and guess what's going to happen. But since that, a new manager, that's a curveball. Big curveball. I think the player that's been linked to a move away most this season is actually Diaz. Like he's his dad's come out and said it in the press. There's been multiple links from multiple Barca different links, different isn't it? Mm. Moves away to PSG, to Barca, to wherever. I really think the guy's going to leave. So that's about 60 million we've recouped. And I think we have to make a decision on one or the other four. Now, if you tell me who I'm keeping, I'm obviously keeping Salah and Jota. The other three are sellable. From a financial perspective, Nunez and Diaz, selling them makes the most sense. So that's 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 what mm -hmm. I'll say. But listen, Mo Salah is not having a good, good performances right now to his standard. But even his shit performances are still better than like a good Nunez performance or a good Diaz performance because the bar... You know, you know, when we talk about Havers, the bar is on the floor. The bar for these guys is also on the floor. So with Salah, there's an expectancy. That's why, like, even when you see him do good stuff in a game and create chances and create one-on-ones and create danger, you're like, oh, Salah has played well today because you expect more. But with the others, you know, the floor, the, the, the level is so on the floor. One good dribble and people are in my chat. Diaz is having an amazing game. He got past the fullback. Wow. Give him a cookie. If I if I go scout right now in Colombia, I can <laughs> sign a cookie. We can sign for 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 fifty thousand pounds. I can find someone. I can go find someone sleeping in his bed in Brazil, never played on a football pitch, and he knows how to dribble. Bro, there's we can go to South America and find people who come out of their mother's womb knowing how to dribble. Let's stop lying to each other. Yeah, who gives a fuck about dribbling, guys? Football nowadays, you have to be effective in the final third. And if you're not effective in the final third, it means fuck all.
all this yeah dribble 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 do nothing dribble 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 do nothing diaz is the anti jack grealish so he would dribble past his fullback but then he would do nothing <laughs> so every time he'd get the ball he would dribble past his fullback okay diaz now you're in the box what are you gonna do nothing that's what i'm gonna do so yeah sell him while we have the chance sell nunez and i'd, I'd have to keep salah and your Rafael Benitez take is a stretch because the only reason why we didn't win the league in 08 or 09 is because we sent Robbie Keane back to Spurs. Everyone knew. And Rafa lost Rafa. his head. It's a fact. It's a fact. It's a yeah. fact. I'm talking about facts. <laughs> oh yeah, the fa oh yeah, the fact round was brilliant. Yeah, was it was good. that was that season. Yeah, 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 said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alice yeah, Ferguson yeah, wants to talk about facts, well. but and then yeah. he pulls out his thing. I have some facts. <laughs> he no pulls facts. out his notepad. Well, he had well. bare facts, blood. How is he on the board gone. at Man United and on the board at the FA? There was one yeah. guy he mentioned, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but, but but for that one. Season troops, everyone knew Torres was going to get injured. It's like Jota. We all know he's injury prone. And you ended up... And you, you had Engog on them, man. David Engo. David Engo was the guy that played. Yeah, bro. yeah, yeah. Oh, we ain't going to win no league. We had 11 throws. And Robbie Keane back to Spurs, right? Yeah, in January. Mm. <clears throat> we bought him in the summer, sent him back in January. I'm like, bro. He wasn't happy though, so he kind of pushed for the move. He back, even like. scored at the Emirates, the equalizer. Yeah, the bro, son, that was a bad, bad boy goal. I remember he, bad he, boy, he went, bad they boy. went long. I remember we took the lead, Van Percy banger. Then they, we went on them. They've gone long. The balls bounced. I thought, ah, oh, this guy ain't gonna he's shooting from outside. Bro, I Left said foot half volley. Bro, and he was playing shit, but because it's Arsenal. Fucking Tottenham scumbag. Damn. Big up comedy star. He says, flawless, the snow bunny magnet. It was a great show, you well lad. Glad you enjoyed the show, my guy. Big up, Saf. Big up, Saf, yeah? He says, every Arsenal season is like a Linkin Park song. They try so hard and get so far, but in the end, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. We got G.O.D. one more time. He says, I'm ready to say goodbye to Klopp, Salah, Robertson and Diaz. We need change in style and formation. Want three at the back and two strikers. No wings. Oh, oh, got it. Wow. Now you need... You now, now it's, wait, wait, wait. Now it's get rid of Klopp, Salah, Robertson and Diaz. Now it's wholesale changes. Now it's a formation style and a tactical change. Well, a couple of weeks ago, it was it was quads on. Well, what happened? What happened? You want some chest to Sam? We got Love United, hate the Ops. He says Liverpool's journey in the Europa League Union sent G Gilles Lask to lose, knocked out by Atalanta. Uncomfortable combos. United had a better journey. Lost. Yeah, we didn't. We both lost. There's in no the words journey. of Flawless, we both knocked out, brother. Yeah. Who gives a fuck who had a better journey? Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Sixteen out. Yeah, facts. Mr. Sixteen out of ten back again. He says Klopp is leaving at the right time. We need a change. His tactics now are. Putrid like flawless. Uh, they make my eyes bleed. We need a fresh change. See, if I was on my channel, you know what I do now. I'd be like, Yeah, you know what's also putrid. I lie. Click the clip. Yeah. <laughs> Comedy star, my G. He says, Hit the likes. 1,800 of you don't miss that 16 out of 10. Real talk, blood. We got everybody inside. No, Diddy. You could be anywhere, but you would demand them. We got GOD one more time. He says, we need to keep Nunez right system. He would bang. You know who you sound like? All the Chelsea fans wanted to keep Timo Werner. Same shit. No one can teach Big a fact. player how to finish. You cannot teach a player how to finish. You can't. Get that. If you just understand that, then you will be so much more comfortable. Timo Werner, Havertz, Tammy Abraham, Morata. We've been there numerous times. You cannot teach a player how to put the ball in the back of the net. You can't see where they play, how they play, if they play. Big up Mourinho. LJ Brown, my brother, big up your damn blood clot self. He says, troops, you and my thoughts <clears throat> on Arsenal are particularly, are practically, sorry, the same. But one fan base I'm not I'm not taking smoke from is Spurs. Any team with less titles than Huddersfield and Sheffield Wednesday can't speak about titles. Real talk, blood. You understand? A real talk, Chargy. And it goes on to this one. Little Tim's my dog, my dog. Says, hope you cook X before the North London Derby next week, troops. Arsenal. Um, I need to reach out to him still. No, did he? Shout out X blood. Make sure you subscribe to bro. Uh, big up Nialo. He says, big up the panel, best football pod on YouTube. Big up your damn self, broski. Congrats on 300k. Thank you, my brother. 
Uh, question for everyone. Who is the first player at your club you'd get rid of? And who is the first player you'd bring in? Uh, so my first player is the other striker. And uh, I would bring in uh, Alexander Isaac. I'd only get one. Yeah, one in, one I only, out. Uh, I only get one to get rid of. That's crazy. Uh, first player, Garrett. So many to choose from. Bruno. In terms Just of pick one out of the hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like pick a name. Pick a name, pick a number. <laughs> like, <you> know, like, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> like, it's, that's where I'm at with it. I'm tired, man. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of this lot. First player I'd bring in. Are we allowed like anyone or do we have to be Yeah, that's realistic? what I was going to say. Is it realistic anyone? or is it hypothetical? Anyone? Then I could say like what? Camavinga, Vinicius, oh, Rodrigo? Like, yeah, yeah. Mbappe, yeah, yeah. Rolf, uh, Sterling, Mbappe. Yeah, yeah, realistic, Mbappe. Oh, if we say oh, realistic. realistic. Um, that's why I said Isaac. Tony or Jokerez and again Sterling. It's time to go, mate. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Get rid of Diaz, get in Jokerez. If we get Amarim, Lewis, you have no hope. Yeah, realistic, Tony. Yeah, I'll go, I'll go get Tony. Big up A2S skills, my G, old school. He says, I'm tired of this Ray Ray guy. This is back again podcast. Don't read his super chats. Try to ignore the 16 out of 10 jokes. I'm with that. The next podcast. I'm all for it. I'll read his chats, but I'll try and air the 16 out of 10s. But if they send 16 out of 10s in the chat, what do you want me to do, blood? No, no, Mookie. I'm with ignoring his super chats. Now, the reason why we don't, because we need the no, back catalogue of when he flip-flops, that's what it is. Yeah, we, we can't do that. The evidence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, we can't keep the evidence of, yeah. of when he says, yeah, Jurgen Klopp's quadruple chasing Reds, and then the you next week, sell everybody. You know what I mean? <laughs> Big up Mookie. He says, Michael Edwards is in complete control. That's what he himself requested to sign again for Liverpool, and he got it. So, new manager signing some, someone don't know. Yes. <clears throat> And then big up Ed my G. He says, Ray Ray, you're deaf a well, lad. And from a time, from time, you can't sit and enjoy what we have before he's gone. This has been some of the best years we've had. Yes, he's not lying. Other Europa League games, uh, by Leverkusen went to West Ham and didn't lose again. They are still unbeaten. 1-1, one, one, uh, getting a late equalizer. Are also on a madness. Mm. On our madness, blood. A uh, man like Frimpong. Antonio gave them the lead. Um, I saw his interview. He said he, he felt very hard done by saying he didn't get no decisions. The referee and the Lionel were kind of on the Bayer Leverkusen side. It is what it is. Uh, Roma 2, Milan 1. Roma going through 3 1 on aggregate. Um, that was probably a big, that, that was a big, big shock if we're being totally honest. Um, Marseille well 1, Benfica 0. Marseille go through 4-2 four, um, four on penalties, 2-2 two, two on aggregate. But my blood, Clark Yang, is in uh, the semi-finals. And obviously, yeah. There's one guy that's having a worse week than all of us. Northside. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah Northside's finished. Oh, man. yeah, he's, he's struggling. He's the fourth Benfica too. Imagine both go out. Oh, Shout <laughs> out my side, side, man. man. Bigger struggle. Yeah. Big up Big Northside. Up North in 48 side. hours, both his clubs went out, though. So, yeah, that's hey, a good nice side, man. Hey, that, that's all for that. Oh, you need to back the project of Ineos and back Ten Hag. Yeah, hold that, man. Hold that. No side. All that rubbish you've been talking to me. Beautiful. Lewis, semi-final yeah. time in the FA Cup. Your last chance at a trophy will be gone by... Uh, what time do you kick off, blood? Are you so 5.15. So by... So 5.15. Nah, he just wants me to be in the same misery he's in. I right, understand. So six. No, wait. So six... 6.15. I, by the time you kick by off. Seven by the time you kick off. Yeah, by the time I kick off, you will be done. You will be coming out of Wembley Way. Um, I will be starting my watch along. And then, um, obviously, when I finish, I will watch your match reaction, which I look forward to. Uh, look forward to seeing you cussing uh, yet again, as you normally do uh, outside Wembley Stadium. Uh, we know what happens when you go there, blood. And you're taking on a pissed yeah. off Man City, bro, which is one of the worst things that you can face right now, blood. And also a tired Manchester City. I've just seen news as well that Erling Haaland might be a doubt for the game. Picked up a little knock. So, mm -hmm. I don't know. M maybe things are falling in the right place for us. Maybe they are, maybe they oh, aren't. Are but... maybe, hey, maybe. Maybe. If we beat Man City, I will be there. We will say the stars are aligning. For now, look, I, I have seen us struggle against a 10-man Burnley. I've seen us get absolutely bodied by bottom of the table Sheffield United. 
I am not showing any chess for this game. I know we will have a good game. Will that mean anything? Why aren't you confident? We'll find you out. Like, you're, you're un, you're, you're un uh, defeated against them this season. Yeah, you've had away. City's number, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nice. Have yeah, we beaten them? <laughs> you didn't no, lose. That's not the point. You've been the better team. Yeah, 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 yeah. This ain't a game where we can draw. This is a game where we need to win. You can draw Actually, because it goes to penalties. penalties. What, 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 oh, 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 great. I, I look forward to seeing my team in a shootout. I was going to say that. Did you not just City lose a shootout? If it goes to Atlanta. penalties, I favor Chelsea. We Chelsea's. beat them on penalties in Ooh. the community yeah, shootout. You just saw City lose a shootout and they lost okay, the Arsenal. Okay, but instead, instead of that, you're going to more likely see De Bruyne and Haaland coming on instead of coming off. So... I still favor you like if you get to a shoot. If it goes to shootout because of what just yeah, happened, I think they'll be nervous. I think it'll be nervous. It's still back to back, in it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Back to back. Our, be our best hope is to just tire out Man City and try and hit them late in the game. I think that's the best way for us. To... Defending possession, keep them chasing the ball. Well, if anything, yeah. we're going to be the ones sitting back. So just hope they get tired out and waste chances. If they score an early goal, might be curtains already. If we bag an early goal. We can close up shop, and as long as we don't change the system stupidly like we did at the Etihad, we might be able to see it through. But this is still Manchester City. They're still the treble winners. They're still the free Peters. They're still going to be the massive favourites going into this game. And now they've been knocked out of one competition. They're going to be really pushing to try and make sure they win two at least this season. They're not trying to get knocked out of two cups in three days. So, yeah, like, confidence ain't really there. Because it's Man City and like, look at the Chelsea team that's been around this season. We're just hoping they're tired. That's it. It's a little Which bit of hope. Will, will it mean anything? We'll have to see. That there's a lot going into this game. It's the biggest game of the season for us. Like We've at least had a week to prepare for it. Thankfully, Enzo's back. Um, Sterling as well is also back. And Cuckoo's in partial team training. Thank goodness he's alive. Don't ruin him before he gets back onto an actual footballing pitch. Who knows? Who knows? We might be able to beat Man City. We might be able to. The magic of the FA Cup and all of that. Underdog story and everything. But If you get past Man City, does your opinion change on Poch? Because if you get to the pro, final, pro, you look pro, on the other pro, side. Why, why, why are you asking silly questions? Nah, nah, friend? come on you, now. You, dude, know the, you know the answer know, to this blood, question. I have to ask the question, blood, because look, Carabao Cup final, yeah, um, you got like FA literally... Cup final. FA Cup final. Imagine, Three points away from six. imagine you because look, if you get to the final, you, you should have been sick already. Out of ten, you win that blood. Look, I, I hear all of this. The only way I could even entertain a potch debate is if I'm stuck with him next season, and then I have to just give him a clean slate and be like, "All right, cool, just hit the ground running, and we'll judge this for we'll Which judge this from a bank okay. plate." I hope you're not there correct. There are no signs of you correct. attacking him so far. Yeah, because like it's, it's been clear for like the last couple months that we're not sacking him till the end of the season. Well, if there was a chance for us to sack him, it wouldn't be till the end of the season. That's why I've stopped asking for Poch to get sacked. What's the point? It's April. So just get through this season and I'd still get rid of him. But if he's here next season, maybe look at it from a clearer lens and be like, all right, cool. Fresh start. We'll, we'll kind of give you the benefit of the doubt if you can hit the ground running. Although, if you start with the same BS from the start of the season, I'm going straight back to everything from last season too. But for now, no, 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 no. I could beat Man City and beat Arsenal in the space of three days and I'll still want him out. Like, I'm not flip-flopping over the case of a few results. You need to show me a long-term switch up for me to believe that. What if you Never finish won. sixth and you get... So you finish, what if you finish sixth, you catch United, you finish sixth, you win the FA Cup? What about that? Nice, nice. He gets to walk, up, walk into the sunset with an English trophy. Congratulations. Now oh, leave. Now it'd be too harsh, Lewis. Even if he wins, yeah, the FA yeah, Cup, yeah. I bet you would think that. Even if he wins the FA Cup, if he wins it, that's success. <laughs> I no, don't care. Tough, like I've said, in terms real. of the league it's season, it's, it's done for me because we have we have thrown up so much ground. Regardless of where we finish at the end of the season, I'm gonna think I could have done more. So like, I don't care in terms of league position. I'm still gonna want him out. The FA Cup, cool. Like if you beat Man City and beat Man United, great. Walk off into the sunset with an FA Cup. We'll say you did something. And yeah, bye-bye. Don't ever come back. Simple as. Well, this is where we if he's here next... Disagree. Go on, go on. What? Sorry. No, no, I was just emphasizing my point. That's all. Go on. 
I just think this is where we fundamentally disagree. I just don't think Chelsea have good players in the here and now. Like they will become good players in a period of time in the future. However, right here, right now, I think you're where you're supposed to be in this moment in time, in my in my opinion, you know. Uh, and if you win the FA Cup, I think it will be considered a successful season, to be honest with you. Even like probably from an ownership perspective. Winning the it it should be a progressive season, not a successful season. Yeah, well, the FA Cup Success is, is the winning third... major honours. That's what this club's about. FA Cup is a major honour. Mm. I'm, I'm thinking Premier League, Champions League. We, we mocked Arsenal for pretending the yeah, FA Cup was a successful season. Point. We're not doing that. That's why I'm saying it's a progressive season. I'm not completely ignoring it, but it's not what you call a success. Something to run a trophy parade for or anything like that. No, it's not. It's progress. That's it. See, where, you were from, where you were from last season finishing 11th or 10th to finishing, if you finish 6th and win the FA Cup, is that not a lot of progress, blood? You're back in Europe. Progress. You won a trophy. It's progress. Next, yeah, me. yeah, that's it. Exactly what I would say. That. It's progress and, and nothing more than that. It's nothing that I'm going to over-celebrate. I'm going to be gassed that we won the trophy if we're here on the pod after that. But that's it. Like, we're not going to talk about, like, it's a league title or anything like that. No, like, we are ideally looking to be a lot higher than just sixth in the FA Cup. So, I'm not going to call that a successful season. No, but from that where you were, is a successful season. Like, from where yes, you were last, I mean, season last to this season. Last season, we had two-thirds of a squad who didn't even want to be here as well. Like, I've said from the start, and I've been consistent, we have upgraded on our team from last season. We should be a lot higher than where we are right now. Two points off sixth, I should already be sixth. As a minimum, I should be looking up at fifth right now. But I'm not because we haven't been able to pull out any consistency from ourselves this season. So why is a little run towards the end of the season meant to change anything? It's not. Overall, there's been a lot of negatives and you've pulled it up towards the end. Great. Still leave. Still leave. And if you're here next season, if you hit the ground running, cool. You know what? We might look at it from a different lens. But for now, no, 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 no. This guy's this guy an absolute tyrant. He needs to be gone. Immediately, <laughs> even just found out the whole penalty situation. I thought Pochettino patterned it. No, it was the directors. The directors were the ones who came down and said, Oh, now we need a designated penalty taker. It's not even him, it's not even the manager. Like, whatever, man, just leave. Just leave. He's please. An absolute please leave. Tyrant. It needs to be removed immediately. <laughs> Any day ending in a Y, I want him gone. <laughs> Prediction for the game, Lewis. I'm going to go with my heart and say 2-1 Chelsea. But my head says 2-0 City. Man them. Hey, Chelsea, Chelsea winning the whole thing. I'm going to say Tomorrow Chelsea. prediction, Blood. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, what did you I say? 2-1 Lewis? Or two, yeah. or I, I'm going to go high scoring. I don't think 2-1... Yeah, I think 3-2 Chelsea or Chelsea you know on penalties. I'm going to say Chelsea on penalties. More heartbreak on penalties for C. Chelsea hey, hey, defend I... for their lives. <laughs> yeah, Chelsea, Chelsea defend for their lives, similar to Madrid. And yeah, games 1-1 one, one overall. Yeah. 3-1 Man City, unfortunately. You get me. Probably. Big up Lee Slims, my chargey. Big up your damn self, brother. He says, big up the panel. I told people to relax and stay away from the Kool-Aid and too many people don't uh, didn't listen. And now here we are. I love the team, but we must win a major next season or I think it's time for Arteta to go. That's what I'm saying. Lee Slims echoes my thoughts, blood. Good to see you, my brother. Lee Slims. Big up, man. Like you C said you are going to win the Champions League troops. Own it, brother. You fraud. Why flip-flopping now, huh? You Who's said you're going to win the Champions League. Did he not say it? That's why I, I said if we get to the semi final, you dickhead. Shut up, Black. Oh, talk, there you talk, are. Talk, talk the truth, Too Black. late, Mark said this guy fraud. You say you drank it yeah. fully. You oh, Atalanta. Oh, Atalanta. Oh, Atalanta. <laughs> oh, Atalanta. <laughs> shut up, Black. Shut up, Black. I've seen shut up. You can only shut up by your mouth. Yeah. I've seen stuff you can dream of. Shut up, I've only seen stuff you can dream of. Atalanta, there you are. My reality is your dream. I've seen it all. Atalanta. They get smoked by Atalanta. I've won trophies you haven't even qualified for it. Uh, guess what? Klopp's, guess what? Klopp's reign started in Europa, and guess where it ended? In the fucking <laughs> Europa, you Europa. dickhead. No yeah. problem. We got a man no like C. You understand? He says, I was watching the Athletic podcast, and they were talking about how the wingers don't defend for Poch to play his tactics. It makes sense to me why we play ping-pong football. 
Big up your damn self. Yeah, Mudrick's start of the season wasn't tracking back at all. He's got a bit better at that this season. Sterling lazy as hell when it comes to defensive attributes. That's why I don't get why he starts. But yeah, I'll give it. I'll give that a listen. I'll give that a listen. Flawless. Is good City, <laughs> That's the yeah. Flawless, you must. It's simple as. You oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I titled my the Man United podcast later that I got on today at five pm. Manchester United must either beat, get through to the FA Cup final. But yeah, we must. Simple as that. It's not going to be pretty because. We don't do anything pretty around here. There's nothing nice about this football club. There's nothing aesthetically pleasing. It's common to see in the FA Cup semi. Is the FA Cup semi final in <laughs> that we have God to win? Like What's ugly. the statement? Oh yeah, that God don't like. Yeah, God don't like ugly, yeah. and everything yeah. about us is ugly. Yeah, yeah, legit. And when I say that, people, let me just clarify. I'm not talking about any player in particular. I'm just talking about us as a football club. Like we play ugly football. Our players have ugly personality. Our manager has an ugly personality. Everything about even the stadium is ugly and how what's going on. Everything about it. But it's Coventry City in the FA Cup semi-final at Wembley. Win the game. Simple as that. I know the performance is going to be ugly. Wouldn't surprise me if we went to go down. It wouldn't be a shock. But win. Whether that's 90 minutes, whether it's extra time, whether it's penalties, FA Cup final, whatever the date is, we must be there. If we don't get there, leave everybody in London. That's what it should be. Leave everybody <laughs> in London. That's what it is. Do not bring them back to Manchester if we don't. Ineos need to be on that. I don't care. If we do not win that game, sack him before he even makes it to the tunnel. He should be sacked on the touchline. There should be whoever waiting to serve him. You know, like when you get served in America and you have the papers right there. As soon as he walks towards the tunnel, he should be served if we don't win this game. I'm not hearing anything. As bad as this team is, has performed, sorry, and as bad as this manager has performed this season, again, it's Coventry City, who are a championship side. Yes, a good championship side, but they're a championship side. We're still a Premier League club. Go and do what needs to be done. And they just lost 3 to Birmingham. Be. Exactly. Yeah, and, and Birmingham are like... Birmingham on, are down on, there at the bottom of the table. Yeah, they're like on the brink of Yeah, they're 21st. Exactly, there we go. On the brink of so if we can't do If we can't do what the 21st... Allah, you cannot lose to Coventry. Yeah, Allah, yeah exactly. If we can't do what That's the 21st... That's why I said who's some... You must. It must, yeah. The team 21st. No, it's in the true. It's not even trolling. You really must. Yeah, facts. That's what I genuinely mean. I meant everything I said. They've he actually lost three himself. out of their last four this month. So they're not even in good form. Nah. So they're not even in. So They've only beaten Leeds. <laughs> Shout out to them. <laughs> hold that, Leeds. Yeah, hold that. You know what I'm saying? Hold but that. To be fair, look, they've yeah. they beaten a better opponent. So maybe they step up yeah. with this stronger maybe they, opponent. Maybe, maybe Are you they nervous, Claudius? No, nervous is the wrong word. I am... Um, Are you worried? Skeptical. Because I know what this team's like. Just when I thought that this team can't lower the bar anymore, we found a way to do it. Yeah. Every time I've gone into games and some of the losses <laughs> we've had, <laughs> yeah, some of the performances, and I think there's no way we can limbo under this bar. We find a way to limbo under that motherfucker. So, yeah, a, a skeptical. That's what it is. I already know the performance is not going to be good. I think it's going to be very similar to the Nuts County game where we won the game, but there was unnecessary scares in that game. And that was a League Two opposition. And Coventry are better than them. And they'll be banged up for it. And there's no pressure on them either. And the place will be rocking on their end in regards to the, the fans there. I don't know how many they've got. And last year they lost that, the playoff that final, so... So they are previous at Wembley as well in regards yeah, to losing that season. But yeah, United, we bust. That's why, I, like I said, I titled... them in the playoff final last year. Yeah, I titled my well, video. I titled my um, next episode that... The next episode of the channel, Manchester United must make it through to the FA Cup final. We must be there. Hopefully it's Chelsea. If it's City... I hope so too. Is what it is. I hope it's Chelsea because we got a much better opportunity of being Chelsea than we do Manchester City just from a stylistic standpoint. So yeah, get also, through to the against final. teams like Coventry. <laughs> well, that's what my manager said. Yeah, that's a joke thing. That's a joke thing. So yeah, I'm hoping for injury news. I'm here hoping for the perfect ending to a terrible season in regards to this manager wins the FA Cup and then leaves. That's an ideal world where I want injury news. Everyone centre back still are injured, as far as I know. I just seen something a, a quote stating that Ganacho apologised for liking the tweets. So oh, the back in the cold. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Goldbridge thing. So that all the injuries, to my knowledge, the chat will know better than me. I've seen no injury news. So I know Varane's still out. Martinez is still out. Lindelof out. Johnny Evans out. So it'll be Maguire, Kambawala again. 
nobody else knew got injured to my knowledge. Are you worried about Kambawala, his performance last weekend? This no, is at Wembley really. Stadium, the bright lights, like, boy, biggest game no. of his career. Biggest game. Arguably, but I've seen him perform well in the quarterfinal against Liverpool, so I don't worry too much. But Those that type of Trafford. Trafford. this is different. It's that Wembley. But that's, this is make that, me that home feeling, 70,000 on his side. This time it's split. No, did he? Yeah, but that performance will make him a early goal. Yeah, yeah that yeah, but this is doing his spinner Rooney, Booker T, Andrix he, again. He did it, he did it once. Da, 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 da. You understand? He did it once. On, on. He did it one time. I was saying, well, no, no. I know that time, we did it one time. I know that I asked him for talking about, talk about defensive mistakes under the bright lights, but we move. You know, we've seen that happen last week in London, but it's not too far from you, like, either, is it? But oh, yeah, I, minutes from my house, is it? Yeah, I so when we're too far, oh, is it? Yeah, blood. I'm Crazy. in Northwest, bro. Wembley's Northwest. It's my hood. Yeah, it's Northwest. Yeah, Local, you get me? Local, yeah, yeah? my block, yeah. Coming to my oh, do you want to come to a game tomorrow? America, I always say. I go to the game. Fuck that. <laughs> oh. Hey, Arsenal ain't playing, blood. Fuck that. I ain't going, blood. Fuck that. Well, yeah, Campbell Wilder sure. will be make or break for him. Like, mistakes like that. It's like, all right, bounce back. Because even before the Liverpool game, when people like, you worried? Like, no. Every time he's played, bar that game against Bournemouth, he's played to a good level. So I trust him in this game. It's the senior player. No, no, forget that. It's everybody else I don't trust. Bruno. That's what it is. Take him and Mayno out of it. I don't trust the rest of them. Which is ironic. The two youth players are the ones I'm looking at and going, oh yeah, you lot will be calm in this environment. It's our senior players I'm looking at. All of them. Maguire next to him. That's who I'm looking at. I'm not looking at Kambawala, which is crazy. I'm looking at Harry Maguire like, yeah, don't mess this up. That's what I'm looking at. Mayno in the midfield and I'm looking at Bruno and Casemiro going, hey, you two deliver. It's not going to be Kambawala, bro. It's not going to be the youngsters. The youngsters are going to be the best players. No, you what, know why it's going Watch yeah. Maino and Kambuala be their best two players on the Oh, pitch. right. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. That's not a surprise. Yeah, they've been yeah. our two, they've been our two a better performers all season. At United, actually. It's the Bruno that's the problem. It's the others. It's the, it's the older ones that have experience that are the problem. They have experienced players who are fucking shit. This is the problem. This is the issue. Bruno Fernandes being your captain is a worry, bro. Like, that guy is just so... I just... It's just, Terrible. you know... He's 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 a bad version of Russell Westbrook. He just wants to do everything and just like three quarters of the shit doesn't work. But you yeah, still need right. a point guard who is good at shooting the three. And well, Bruno Fernandez is a midfielder who's not good at keeping the ball. So this is the right. biggest problem with the guy. He gets the ball and the first thing he does is 40 yard diagonal, 30 Oof. yard diagonal directly. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, keep the ball 10 seconds, yeah. Keep no, keep it it's just it's his DNA, man. You can't do that. Pass left and right. No, it's not you can't do that. He can you can't do that. that. And at least with Russell Westbrook, he has athleticism on his side. I wish, like, if Bruno was athletic, I'd be at least you could go after you give the ball away, go get it back. You can't even do that. Russell Westbrook can at least jump high. You know what I'm saying? He's actually good in transition. Whereas Bruno, like me out there, he a cone. You know what I'm saying? He a cone in transition. He ain't doing nothing. Right, that's what it Bruno is. Bruno has but... one thing he's good at. Penalties. Yeah, prediction, good penalty. prediction for Sunday's game, Flawless. 2-1, Manchester United. That close? Man said that close, you know. 2-1. Well, in 90 or... In yeah, 90. 90, yeah, 90, 90. Yeah, 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 90. I think... I think 2-1 Coventry. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. I think they pull up. Blood, every yeah. time... Flores, I said, I said about Bournemouth, yeah? Look, huh? I don't chat shit. When I say you're going to win, you're going to win. I got this mad feeling, yeah? No, did he? That them man there, they got something for your club. <laughs> yeah? They, I, I, trust me, bro. Hey, predict, predicting gonna... Manchester United to draw and lose games is not nothing. It's not no Oracle thing. Look at us. Bro, I'm telling, man. 2-1 cover. It's not no Oracle It's not no oracle thing. We can lose or draw to anybody. What? Well, them set pieces. Anybody. You're in the championship set pieces, blood. Any, but we could we could limbs or draw to anybody. In the end. Yeah, man. It was like limbs at the Alliance, but yeah, two one Manchester United. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> he went there. <laughs> yeah, it's like limbs at um, Anfield last week. Why are you I bantering didn't... me back? Be a man, banter him back. <laughs> <laughs> why are you, why are you <laughs> getting involved like Curry's little fucking puppet? Why are you getting involved like Curry's bitch, blood? I huh? just, I just, why are you just getting involved? Mind your business, business blood. I just laugh. Why? Why? No was why? Why are you? Why are you? Is what? I'm yeah. not Kimmich. Don't be mad at me, <laughs> bro. I'm not Samaka. Don't be mad at me. I'm not mad at you. You're the one who's mad. Me. I'm relaxed. I'm, I'm not Samaka. Don't get mad at me, blood. 
Yeah, I'm not Darwinny. I'm not Darwizzy. Yeah? I'm not mad at you at all. <laughs> prediction. <laughs> Let me say my prediction before I have to go. My prediction go is on. Man United win. Let's cut the cap here. I want them to lose. I hope Troops is 100% right. I hope this time Troops' feeling is actually true. No and deal. it actually happens. And Coventry wins. However, if I'm being honest, I just don't see it happening, man. I just don't see it. Wembley and shit and all this. They'll probably have like a lot of Man United fans there even as well, which be a, might be a bit more intimidating for Coventry players. I just, I just don't see Coventry winning, bro. I'm sorry. I wish I could... Like, maybe if they keep a low block and play, like, shit football and give Man United a taste of their own medicine and then score a goal on a set piece or something. So, yeah, that's that's the, that's the what I'll say. But I think uh, I think Coventry are out. And I think Chelsea go through. I think Chelsea United is going to be the final. And then Chelsea beat Man United. That's that's my prediction. And if you want me, do you want me to give you a weekend prediction before I go? Yeah, but let me get Lewis first. Pause. Um. So... Um, Man United take the lead, Coventry equaliser, Bruno penalty, 2 on United. <laughs> That's such a typical Fulham. United game as well. So Hussam goes to Fulham on Sunday. Um, yes. We'll be live after the Fulham game, 7pm Sunday, and then we redirect to Alhwa. You get me? Today we're redirecting to Lewis's preview with LB, so don't go anywhere. You get me? Make sure you stay over, yes sir. And then Flawless is going live at 5pm, so make sure you go... Yeah. Flawless as well, blood. No, did he? But um, yeah, you travel to Fulham. You need you nearly lost that game. Um, start of the season. That lovely Trent goal uh got you the winner. Uh, we went to Fulham and lost. Lewis went there and won. I don't know what flawless did. Yeah, well, he won one nil. No. Oh, Blake Fulham won as well. That, no, wait, no, no, no. Away, when we went away to Fulham, yeah, we yeah. won one nil. No. Bruno late goal. So them two won. I lost. Um, I took one point off Fulham this year. We drew a fucking Emirates and then I lost that fucking Craven Cottage. Them four points probably cost me the fucking Premier League, blood. That's if we look back at it, because the teams yeah. we've lost to, we lost to West Ham, we lost to Fulham, home and away, and we lost to Newcastle and we lost to um, Aston Villa. We've only lost to six teams this year, bro. And then Liverpool in the um, FA Cup. We lost to West Ham in the fucking, you're in, in the Carabao. We lost to only yeah. six teams this year, bro. You get me, but um, yeah, damn, I'm one of them. First, um, Fulham are in good form as well, blood. That that you, um, that striker, what's his name, blood? He got player of the month. It was, Troops, it was you're talking about feeling and all this, yeah. Let me tell you, feeling this Go feeling on, right here. Um, none, none of the three clubs win this weekend. I've already said Chelsea beat City. You are going to lose or draw against Wolves, and I'm going to lose or draw against Fulham. That's how I feel it. I gen I do not see. You think this is the weekend that City don't Done. play and they win the league? A hundred percent. I promise you, you are we are gonna fuck up before they even play a game. You know they play Thursday against Brighton, right? So it's yeah, like I know because we play game, two. You know? We play two times before they play once, blood. Because we play yes. tomorrow and Tuesday. Yes, we are both gonna fuck up. Both. I'm not saying me. I'm gonna win. You're gonna lose, or you're gonna win. I'm gonna lose. I say we both fuck up this weekend because it's just the way that the toothlessness of both teams and the fact that we you just lost to to Bayern, we got knocked out by Atalanta, and we lost to Palace as well. The confidence is in the floor right now, and you know the the, the going to Wolves away is not easy. By the way, Wolves no, I'm, lost. I'm worried, bro. You mad? Yeah, w not worried or are worried. I'm worried. Yeah, yeah, Wolves beat I'm more Spurs, worried about Wolves going to Wolves City. than going to fucking Old Trafford. Sorry, Flawless. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, Wolves mm. beat, beat City. No offense season, taken. So, yeah, we have to give them their props, their respect. So, I think Wolves and, and Wolves and Fulham either draw or win. I don't see Liverpool or Arsenal winning this weekend. And this is the weekend where I come here at 7 o'clock, inshallah, after. And I go like, okay, guys, City, congratulations. You have won the league and just fucking like... You know, just say it publicly once for all. Because I still do think Arsenal have a small chance. I don't think we have a chance. I think Arsenal have a chance. There's no chance for us. I've, I so, said that I think it's Arsenal or City, but now I think it's City because they're at Champions League. So now full concentration yeah. will go on the four P. Yeah. So that's that's what I'm saying. But anyway, I've got to go now. So big up to, to, to you guys. Uh, make sure you guys are liking and subscribing. Make sure you guys go watch Lewis's stream and watch Flores' stream as well later on. So love. I'm not doing anything on my channel. Maybe midnight. If I want to just vent and rant, I'll decide if I want to do Yeah, I've been seeing these late night rants he's been doing, blood. I can't like it. It's been banging. It's like therapeutic. 
before yeah. they go to sleep, I just fill them with all the negativity in the world and then they fall asleep. It's brilliant. Yalla. <laughs> See you guys. Yo, <laughs> See, you guys. Yo, up, See you Sunday. Um, Arsenal, we travel to Wolves. Um, I'm worried about this game. You get me, uh, Gary O'Neill. He's done wonders since going there. Um, he was um, unfortunately sacked at uh, Bournemouth last season after doing great work there, keeping him in the league. But he's gone to uh, Wolves, implemented his style. And when big teams go there, they turn up blood. You get me? They put in a good performance. Uh, we went there and won last year, a 2 0 victory, which took us eight points clear at the time, just before the World Cup. Um, this year, I think it's a bit different. Last year, we went there booming confidence, slapping teams left, right and centre. This time, we go there after losing two games in a row, uh, one in the Champions League and obviously last weekend at um, the Emirates against Aston Villa. It's another team from the Midlands as well. Um, obviously, Villa and now Wolves. A bit like the... Uh, the buying game, when I said, um, I think the first goal wins. Um, when I said that in the buying game, I think a lot of people interpreted, interpreted it as first goal wins, like 1-0. I mean, the person who scores the first goal wins the game. You get me? Mm -hmm. So, I believe if Wolves score the first goal, um, they probably will go on and defeat us. I think if we score first, um, the away end will do what they've been doing majority of the season and they will help the team see the win over the line. But I think that first goal is vital, blood. You get me? I think if they score first, it's under the light, 7.30 p.m. Then Wolver, then Wolverhampton people have been on the piss all day. It's Rawker Stadium. I've been there. I know how it gets when they get in the lead. So Rocking. It gets rocking, blood. You get me? So I think that first goal is vital. Changes need to be made in the side. Um, changes need to be made, bro. I would put Saka on the bench. Ooh. I would put Saka on the bench. Um, I've seen him play Martinelli on the right. Um, so I'd put Martinelli on the right, Trossard on the left. Got to go with Kai Havertz down the middle. Gabriel Jesus is actually absolutely useless. Uh, the other striker, they even get nowhere near my starting 11. The midfield would be Rice, Odegaard, Partey. I want to see Partey start. I need to see Partey start. Um, now it's the time, blood. You get me. The back four will be the same back four that we saw against Bayern. So Benny Blanco, Saliba Gabriel, and Tomiyasu, David Rea in goal. And yeah, that's my 11. You get me. People will be like, oh, he's, he's putting Saka on the bench, bro. It's he's time. tired as well. You get me. So it's time. It's time. Do you think Saka will be benched or do you think he's gonna start again? Of course he's, he's not gonna, gonna be benched, blood. He's gonna start him. He'll never bench Saka, blood. He's gonna start him. 100 percent he's gonna nice. start. Nice. Well, you think the same energy for Tuesday? He starts yep. in both. We'll have another but, Cucurella clamp sesh. I'll, I'll be He'll start in both. He'll start, start in both, both. Right. no doubt. You will do good. No good. doubt. We love you. Get me. Yeah. Well, yeah, I do I think wolves have something for you guys. You guys seem to struggle going there especially over the last few years. Plus April. April Arsenal is not pretty for you guys. Um, At, at the very least, actually, you know, you played Wednesday too. Oh, crap. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you know what? 2-0 Wolves. 2-0 Wolves. <laughs> See, the end of the tile hopes tomorrow. It's going to get some... we... Go on. Go on. No, I was going to say, imagine, imagine you're saying I was going to be depressed tomorrow and we win and you lot lose. It's going to be crazy. Hey, hey, Lewis, tomorrow? You What's must. your prediction, Flawless? I didn't even hear. We must. We must. But it's okay. I don't think you lose. I think 1-1. One, one. I think 1-1. One, one. I'm just going to get some predictions off the man then for the rest of the games. Luton, Brentford. That's a big game, oh. like relegation. Thanks, you know what? That'd be a good game, you know, because Luton do mm -hmm. they play and they like in regards from an entertainment standpoint. Mm -hmm. I know Brentford got that important win last week. Mm -hmm. Two 0 against Sheffield United. I'm gonna go two two in this game. Two one Luton. First. One one. I'm gonna go one one. Sheffield United Burnley. 
big, big relegation game. Blood yeah, 20th yeah, yeah, versus yeah, yeah, 19th. Yeah, 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 whoever yeah, yeah, loses yeah. this, I think if Sheffield United lose this, that's the official dong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going Burnley 2 1. Is it as Sheffield? It's at, it's at Sheffield, right? Sheffield yeah, United Burnley. It's at Bramall Lane. You know what? I go Sheffield United 2 1. Who did you say they were playing? Sheffield Burnley. United Burnley. Oh, fucking hell. Um, free, 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 free. Everton, Nottingham Forest. These are Sunday's games. That's another big relegation battle game. Mm -hmm. I'll go Everton. I think they'll bounce back. What, after the 6 0? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 2 1 Everton. I'll go. 1 1. 1 1. Villa Bournemouth. 2 0 Villa. 3 1 Villa. 2 1 Villa. And then a London derby to end things. Crystal Palace taking on West Ham. Jeez. I think West Ham yep. bounced back after being knocked out. I'll go West Ham to yeah, I, I think I think Crystal Palace will be over the moon after that beating beating um Liverpool at Anfield. They're so hot and cold though. That's why I kind of go yeah, West they Ham. Are. No, I get what you're saying. West Ham just went out in Europe. West Ham's played in Europe as well. Mm -hmm. I'll go West Ham too. I mean, I'll go Palace 2 0. Palace 2 1 for me. Got Strasbourg, Steve. One more time, he says. Coventry City gonna win two one. Extra time. Observe. Big up my dun big up my guy Steve every time. And then big up Albin. He says felt Hamza is tie of Man City based on last vid. It definitely is blood fucking historian. That's what oh, what was he just making excuses because they lost? Nah, remember the last ep when he when he pulled oh, up. Oh right, yeah, 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 yeah. Talking yeah, about blood. stuff in the nineteen sixties. But that's it, my people. Episode 283 wrapped up like a zombie blood. You get me? Um, we had 1800 in here. We're really? consistent, Ooh, blood. You're consistent, bro. Like, it literally only dipped like in the last 10 minutes, bro. You get me? So, uh, big up every single one of you, blood. Big up the super chatters. Big up the mods, them keeping the thing patterned. Make sure you like the thing. If you haven't liked the thing, we still got 1300 inside. No diddy. And we're not even at 1k likes, bro. I know we'll get to 1k likes when the goal, when the video gets posted. But um, let's get um, let's try to get to fifteen hundred on this app. But get the likes up ASAP right now, blood. We're only on six fifty likes. That don't make sense, blood. You understand? Mm -hmm. Big up the man them as always. Make sure you subscribe to all of the man them. Link is in the description as always. And like I said, we are redirecting to um, Lewis for his um, preview with LB. So make sure you stay here and go. Uh, show Lewis some love on his channel. Flawless will be live at five as well. So make sure you go yep. check Flawless. Lewis probably redirect from there, blood. You get me? So it's just going to be a dong, dong, dong. You understand? Like, you like got content, man, all day long. You know what I'm saying? Team all day long. Work after run. You see me? I That's... work with Comforter, you know? But, and also, um... guys, 9.30, we got Hamza on the channel as well. So we got two streams. Keep a look you out see? for that. So look yeah, out for that Yeah, and actually, that, that being well. said, you know, one more tears, 11 p.m. I'm doing the United Liverpool show. UK time that is so and if, be you, oh, is, and if you want tears before the Arsenal game tomorrow <laughs> I'm going live for the Chelsea Man City game blood so look out yeah. for that one only for content this week for the people yeah. and there is mm -hmm. and one last thing as well you lot obviously any NBA fans make sure you get over to the playback because the playoffs start Saturday so I'll be live 8 to 8 p.m i um, on the playback. Actually, I'll be live from 7.30 p.m. on the playback because Arsenal Wolves, I'm going to watch that for an hour. Well, watch the first half and then by the time the second half is kicking off, it'll be the Timberwolves versus the Suns game one. But we're doing so many of the NBA playoff games, more so the Western Conference. But get over to the playback, people. Playback.tv slash Sarcasm City TV for any NBA heads. And if you have a league pass, come join and watch with us because the playoffs is about to be absolutely insane. We got the chat one last time, blood. You get me? I'll see you lot tomorrow. And until then, blood, pray that Arsenal are still in this title race come the next episode on Sunday, blood. Potch out. 16 out of 10. <laughs>